term underway. Round 15 of Benigo football from the Queen Elizabeth Oval on a delightful winter's day in Benigo, Cameron Power. It is. You couldn't ask for a better day for footy. A top five clash at the Curio. Daniels and Sexton will go up. We'll call it a dead heat. It spills off hands. Eaton and Stross are in there. Stross couldn't quite find a way through. Tarju was taken without the footy, so he'll receive the free kick. So it'll be the first clearance of the game for the Dragons. Lockie Tarju will send it up towards centre half forward. Max said the target down there, but it carries over the back of him and it finds its way into the hands of Jack Trolfel of Golden Square. The Trolfel will send it down the poolside wing. Quick to move it. Turned over. Island to Tarju. Then Tarju sends it forward and finds Jimmy Coglin. Coglin wheels around. The first inside forward 50 of the game. McLean's back there for the Dragons. It spills off hands. Hits the ground. Max dead couldn't quite take it through. Wharton's in there. So too's Conic. And it will be taking the ground for a ball up inside the forward pocket underneath the scoreboard at the city end. Yeah, both teams are uh, just not getting handle on the footy at the moment. It's a little bit stagnant, but Sanders deep into attack. Daniels jumps over Max dead. Co stole it. Gave the handball off to Dylan Hurd, who bangs it out of there for Golden Square. No mark taken, but they're able to work it down the wing now. Pull side wing. Flying up Rosen Grint. He let out and took the mark. Centre wing position, pull side. Thought about coming back into the middle. Decided against it. And he's just going to hold things up a little bit here. Got a couple of short options. One of those short options is Tommy Toma. Back into the side. Essendon VFL listed player. He plays on quickly. Wheels around to James. Then James gives it back to Toma. Inside forward 50 for the Dogs. Sends it right down to the line. Big mark, none taken by Eaton. It spills to ground. It's then rushed off hands for the first score of the game, which will be a minor to Golden Square. It was nearly a grab by Eaton. It was a big effort. He was falling to the ground. He got one hand on it and just spilled out and hit the deck uh, before he could control it. Yes, and you mentioned Bryce Kerno back in. He's got the job on uh, Tanner Rayner. And at the other end, uh, Cam, you'll be happy to know that uh, Fergus Green has been taken by Harrison Burke. So Kerno gets the first kick in. He chips it to Wharton, who then works it down centre wing. Finds its way forward. Down the line they go. Dylan Hurd got back and fisted it over the boundary line. Right in front of our broadcast position for a boundary throw in. Yeah, good defensive piss too. It was clear. He only had intent to get the ball over the boundary line. Right in front of us here. Centre wing position. QEO bathed in sunshine. Daniels got it down in front of Sex and it spilt out wide. Wharton grabbed it, couldn't take it. Westcott went through for the dogs. So too did Eaton. They dive on top of it. Eaton picks it up and Wharton assists him over the boundary line. Babed in sunshine. You haven't said that for a while, Cam, on a Saturday afternoon. No, it has not been bathed in sunshine the last few weeks here in Bendigo footy. Throw in again. Sexton got to the front, knocked it forward, but it was straight to Brody James. Usually wears the long sleeves, but even he's got the short sleeves on this <laughs> afternoon. It's knocked off Ireland. Cut Wharton, out. off hands. Bouncing around about 60 out from goal. It's then picked up by Harrison Free in there. He's pounced upon for another ball up. He's suggesting uh, it's going to get really hot this afternoon, Cameron. He's gone for the short sleeve. Well, he usually does wear the long okay. sleeves, so I was interested in that one. Right. So ball up. Neither Ruckman got a hand to it. Free kick. Umpire says, I think it was Daniels might have been just shepherded off the ball a little bit. So he receives the free kick. He then wheels the kick inside forward 50 for the Dogs. Out on a lead was Rosen Green. He got it on the half volley, but then he was taken over the boundary line for a boundary throw in. Left hand forward pocket. What Barnard Street on. Well, as expected, uh, both sides putting pressure on the opposition and uh, making it difficult for uh, any contest, as you expect from two top five sides. So it'll be thrown in. A lot of Golden Square people behind the goals down there. Lots of blue and gold. Toma got it off. Westcott around the body. Sends it goalwards. It bounces over the back of the pack and it's gone through for a goal. Zach Westcott has kicked an absolute beauty. How no one got a hand on that. And it's on inside the forward pocket. It might be another free kick. Has mm. the goal been counted? Yes, the goal has. There yep. could be another uh, kick coming back. I know the Golden Square people behind the goals are happy about it. They're saying it's a point. Well, have they not set a score at all? No, so no, the flags have been waved. Yep. Well, why, yep. Are we, why are we in the middle of the ground? It's turned over. So it must be a free kick, and it's gone into the middle. So It's coming right back to the centre. Yeah, fact, so, so we're counting the goal to Sandhurst. Uh, goal to Golden Square to Westcott, but it must be a free kick, and 
We'll find out what's going on there. But Sanders are going to receive the ball and send a wing. They'll bang it up towards Maxted. Very interesting. Who marks it 55 from home. I'm not sure what happened then. Maxted's got it. 55 out from goal. He's got some options inside. Decides just to chip it short. Finds its way into the hands of Jack Keating, who's 55 out. A little bit closer to goal. Nothing really going. Nearly every player in the game yeah. is inside this forward 50. He chips into the pocket. That's a beautiful lead by Maxted, and he's marked it hard up against the boundary line. These right two are playing chip to kick footy. Uh, he marked that. That was a beautiful kick, though. perfect. It was about the only space they had in yes. that forward pocket because it was crowded. Maxted's an absolute superstar. Freckleton stands the mark about 40 metres out, hard on the boundary. It'd take some sort of special kick from here. On the right, he might have given it a fair go. He sent it goalwards. It's just gone across the face to the left-hand side. I thought it was going to swing back at the last second then. Minus score. It's one behind, playing 117. Sandhurst and Golden Square. Local footy lives at Fresh. Benigo score. Sponsor, Benigo City Framers. So we'll have to work it out, Norm, because uh, the goal was kicked. We believe it was paid, but the ball didn't come back to the middle in the traditional bounce. No, I would say that the Golden Square players were uh, given a free kick against for infringing and the ball was, because it was due to be bounced, that's where the free kick's given. So the kick was taken in the centre. centre. So yep. Golden Square muddled it up, bring it back into play. They've got it to about 25 and forced a stoppage. It was Jack Trofel that was in there, just fumbled at the last moment and we're going to get another ball up here. 40 out from goal, City end. Knocked forward by Daniels. It fell, they'll send it into the middle. The dogs that come from Sampson. Sampson's kick found a way forward. Then streaming away for the dogs will be Ricky Monty. Inside forward 50. Finds a player open at the back. And it's Jordan Rosengreen who marks it 35 metres out from goal directly in front. Yeah, he used his body really well. He was at the back of the pack, so he had some uh, space to work with. But Rosengreen really did use his body. And in the end, he took a really clever mark. So man on the mark is about 35, almost directly in front. The big cohort of Golden Square supporters behind the goals will let you know if it's gone through. <laughs> In he comes. He puts it on the right. He's hung it to the right, but it swings back, and I think he's got it. He has. Goal on pie had to work, but Rosengreen gets the second, we believe, for the Bulldogs. They move to 2-1-13. The Dragons are one behind. We have played probably about nine minutes in this one. Eight yeah. minutes, in fact, opening quarter, score sponsor is Don is good. Norm, did you see the flags being yes. waved? You did. Yes. So the and first goal was definitely yes, paid a goal. Yes, the first goal was paid. Okay. They waved the flags and then put them away, and then, they, then that little altercation well, happened. Mass confusion after that, Norm. That's right. It was, uh, that one was Tanarena took an excellent mark and handed off to Monty to get the ball forward. A good work. Back in the middle we go. Macy Eaton. Dogs are on early. Tried to handball out into the run of a teammate there in Kelly, but it was turned over. Coglin bangs it towards centre half forward for Maxted, but reading it nicely was Freckleton who takes the defensive mark for Golden Square. He quickly plays on, sends it across the far wing, finds Tommy Strosh. He comes leading out. Strosh down the line. He kicks poor, turned over. Dragons will work it through Pinniger to centre half forward. Wharton stood in front of him was Burke, who took a strong yeah. mark. Paul Cookie coming in. Uh, Wharton had two opponents against him, and they were bigger opponents as well for Square. He gets up, quickly handballs to Trelfel, then Trelfel sends it out towards Harrison Kelly. Gone across the ground, so they're on the grandstand side wing here. 60 out from the opposing goal. Down the line he goes. Rainer's got to beat a couple here. Couldn't quite, but he was able to win it at ground level. Sent it forward. And we're not going to have a winner of that one. We'll have another ball up, centre wing position. Square would be happy with their endeavour at the ball. They're really going in uh, for the contested footy and doing well in the first turn. Daniels just bangs it forward about 15 metres. He went up uncontested in the ruck, but it's turned over. Connick then kicked it straight back to Daniels. He found a way through, handballed forward, handballed onto himself, but it was Bryce Kerno who was able to get in the way. He pirouettes out of trouble, then sends it straight down the middle at the QEO. Bouncing ball, Trolfel knocks it back to John Coe, and Coe can try and send it out. He wanted to put it in front of Holt, but it didn't really do him any favours because there was plenty of Sanders players around it. It spills to ground. Players dive on it. Umpire circling, circling, and eventually crosses his arms and says, I'll have it. Oh, Daniels uh, for the Bulldogs, charging forward. He got through the pack, and he looked up, and big Bryce Kernow was standing there. Just brushed him aside, took the footy, and repelled the damage. It's a good battle in the ruck. It spills down. We'll call it a dead heat again. 
Kelly's in there for the Bulldogs. Handballed out. Battling away in there is Robinson of the Dragons. And the umpire says we'll ball it up again. I'm thinking, Norm, uh, Golden Square are liking a lot of stoppages. They are liking stoppages, Wallace, and they're, they're using the ball well when they spread from those stoppages. Mm. So Sexton knocked it down. It's then knocked forward by Connick, a little bit of volleyball style. Picked up for the dogs inside was Holt, but he dropped it. Couldn't quite get a clean possession away. Going through Strosh, who's in defence. Don't see that too often from a Golden Square point of view. I'll have a ball up 40 metres out from goal. Bulldogs seem to be winning uh, contested footy at a lot of these stoppages in the first term. Maxted's in the ruck inside forward 50. He tried to grab it out of the ruck, but he couldn't quite so. It's then brought down in a tackle as soon as he grabbed possession by Tommy Strosh. So Daniels will then get forward of Maxted and send it forward. It's picked up by the Dragons, which is Wilkinson, who might have been pinned for holding the ball, has he? He was for prior. So free kick goes the way of the Dogs. Reeves sends it out wide. Strosh couldn't quite take the mark over his head, but he was able to recover the truffle. Then he'll fire it back to Strosh, who's under all sorts of pressure, but he's got a short pass here to Toma. Toma then emerges with the footy. Nice, nice kick down the wing. Finds a lead on the mark. Handball to Trollful. Good movement from the Dogs. They send it inside forward 50. Rosengreen picked it up. He snaps around the body on his right and puts through an absolute beauty. Rosengreen's got two. And the Bulldogs have got three. They're 3 one Sanders one behind. Hot start for the boys from Wade Street. Score sponsor, JB Restumping. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. Yes, we can see why uh, <coughs> Mike in the timekeeper's box wanted Tommy Tamer back. Uh, very good. That's the third time he's, uh, he's been part of a s succession of uh, short kicks or handballs to get the ball forward. And uh, his pass then was uh, pinpoint perfect and excellent for Golden Square. Rosengren... Played on, snapped around the body and made no mistake. Yeah, it was uh, Tomer's goal, really. It His was Tomer's goal. It was excellent work. Back in the middle we go. Sexton won it straight down to ground level and they all dive on top of it. So the umpire says we'll ball it up again. Good start by the Bulldogs. They'd be very, very happy with this start, Golden Square. Hood's in there for Sanders. Tried to find a way through. Then almost rugby threw that one out the back. Almost like he was looking for an offload there, Norm, if we're touching a bit of rugby. It was. I was looking forward to this uh, Sexton, Sexton and uh, Daniels in the ruck, and they're certainly not letting anybody down. It's been excellent. What is this offload you speak of, Cameron? You probably shouldn't uh, swap the codes around, I wouldn't imagine. We're inside in the middle quarter of the ground. Quarter time, Lodden Valley, uh, Elmore, uh, four goals, 24, Mount Pleasant, two goals, 5-17, so uh, Elmore leading. Daniels won it down, but straight to Keating, who bangs it inside, forward 50. John Coe's back there for the Dogs. His little quick kick out of there, though, was turned over. Hood missed his target there, which was free. Now Strosh emerges with it for the Dogs, <laughs> handballs it forward. Had no chance. Bryce Kernow was sweating on him, uh, Cameron, and came in with the big tackle. I still believe Almore playing in the Heathcote District Football League too, Norm. They are, Wallace. So back in the middle again. Hood for Sandhurst. It was able to be one out. Coglin got it. Yes, nice. Sent it towards centre half forward. Lead came out there. Couldn't quite get to it, though. It was right. It bounces around about 60 out from goal. No real clean possession in this little passage here. Spills out to Strosh, who's been busy early. Toma. Got the one-two, back to Toma. Then he sends it out wide. Kick went forward. Couldn't quite find its in target, which was Sampson. And Sanders will be happy to see that one over the boundary line for a boundary throw in. I tell you, Cameron and Longway Square doing really well. The Bulldogs across half back. They're repelling uh, Sanders. Uh, Sanders are getting towards their half forward on the paint, but it's coming back pretty quickly. Doing really well across half back, the Bulldogs, in this uh, first quarter. Yeah, and that's being helped by uh, their midfield, which are putting pressure on the, uh, the ball carrier to send it forward. And it's only been a kick in the air, a kick in hope. So Strosh emerged with it off the pack. He then missed his foot, but he was able to recover to Daniels. Daniels gave it back to Monty. Monty then around the body towards centre-half forward. It spills out to Reeves. Reeves sends it into the hot spot. Rosengreen again. He's got the hot hand in this quarter. Couldn't quite take it. Dragons have got Lockie Hood, who's able to fend off a tackle and pirouette his way out of there. He sends it up towards centre wing. John Coe was able to oh, yes. bust through. Big bustling Johnny Coe. <laughs> Handballs to Toma. Toma's then caught in a tackle by Wharton, and that is holding the ball. In the back, I think you'll find, Cam. Well, yeah. we'll go within the back. I'm not the umpire. I just call it how I see it, and I saw that one incorrectly. It's free kick to Golden Square. You're right, Norm. 
So it'll be a free kick to Tom Tomer, and he's not without a doubt of kicking this one from 55, about 10 metres in from the boundary. We've only played 15 minutes, but he's had a good first term. Yes, he's, uh, he's the uh, X factor on the ground at this stage for Golden Square. A great inclusion today, back from Essendon. Well, the challenge is being set to Sanders. They probably haven't found themselves in this challenge too many times. Toma chips into the pocket. He went looking for a teammate there, which was Sampson, but it was a kick that just carried over the back. Dragons are able to send it out of there, but they go straight to the hands of James. Brody James doesn't waste any time pumping it back inside forward 50. It spills out. Reeves emerges with it. Handball's off to Strosh. Strosh will go goalwards, but Sanders have got the defenders on the last line of defence. That was Keating, who's able to smother it. Kerno then taking no chances, rushes them behind. Strauss brought his own footy in the first term, playing well. Kerno emerges with it quickly out of defence. He runs out, has two bounces, then chips to Wharton. They come down the grandstand side wing. That's a really nice kick. Beautiful. Finds its way up into the hands of Robinson. Robinson then handballs forward. They'll go inside forward, 50 the Dragons. It sets a target for Green. Coe got back to sit in the hole, but Green still did really well. He handballs off to Robinson. Robinson on the right will drill the goal. Charlie Robinson kicks the Dragons first of the evening, or the afternoon, I should say. And they get a much-needed goal. They are one one seven. The Bulldogs are 3 one uh, 3 2 20 Score sponsor, JB Restumping. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. Yes, that was a better entry into the forward 50 by Sanders then. They lowered their eyes. Uh, they set it to a leading player. It wasn't marked, but it came to ground. And... Uh, in the right place at the right time was young Charlie Robinson and he made no mistake with his right foot uh, snap at goal. That's the, that's the style of game we know Sanders play, Norm. That that's running right. from half-back right through the centre, right through centre wing and into their forward line. Good game of footy here. Tardrew gets the clearance for the Dragons. It's a high ball inside forward 50. It carries over the back of the pack. Lurking down there is right. It spills off the handball forward. Couldn't quite find its target. Stag was able to emerge. He then wheels around onto the left, sends it to the hot spot. Comes off hands. Umpires pulled a free kick. Wilkinson was running into an open goal. And it's going to be a free kick going the way of the Dogs. And it will be in the hands of Trelfel, who chips across the ground. Finds a teammate just in from the boundary line, which is Rosengreen, who's up the wrong end of the ground to where we've seen him so far. He's kicked two already today. Now he's got this one deep in defence. Sends it down the pool side wing. It comes off hands. Spilling towards Reeves, who's taken in the tackle straight away, and we'll have another ball up. That previous goal for uh, Sanders, their first one, Fergus Green's so good, the way he hit that pack and that handball. Knocked forward. Stag emerges with it. Then he's able to just chip it inside on the right. And he finds Maxted, who's such a strong mark. Yeah, that's beautiful, Mark. He's underneath the scoreboard. And based on his one where he had a shot from a similar position on the opposite side, he'd be a chance from here with the yeah, way he swings the stick. he's dangerous in the air, isn't he? His hands are magnificent. And when he's on a lead like that, to uh, put the ball out in front as it was delivered then, nearly uh, impossible to stop. He might kick this, uh, Cameron. He went back very confident. Didn't look like wanting to share the footy around. 25 goals in the season so far for Kobe Maxted. He comes in, goes goalward on the right. It's a really nice looking kick. The goal umpire did not move. And Maxted's got goal number 26 of the season and the Dragons' second of the day. They are 2 1 13. They are pegging back Golden Square, who got the fast start. They are 3 2 20. Score sponsor, Bendigo City Framers. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. Yes, excellent work from Nick Stag there. He was able to uh, collect the loose ball and uh, spot up Maxted on a lovely lead. And it's great to see Maxted doing so well, considering this morning uh, he was under a bit of a cloud as to whether he'd play because uh, he hasn't been feeling the best, but certainly had a great start to this game. Absolutely. Back in the contest here. One forward by Monty. Went about 10 metres further forward. Square trying to surge it forward, unable to do so. Dylan Hurd drops behind the back to be the loose off the contest for Golden Square. Free kick for a block's been pulled out. It's going to go the way of Rayner, who quickly handballs to Rosengren, who was pounced upon by Robinson, but he just got the kick away. It goes inside forward 50. Hood handballed off, and they'll clear the kick out of there, the Dragons. Back into the middle of the ground. Brody James out there was able to recover. Handball back to Hurd. Hurd puts the burners on and sends it inside forward 50. A really nice pass to Jaden Burke. One of the captains of the Golden Square side. He then chips inside forward 50 right to the top yes. of the square. Tom Strauss used his body well. 
And Tommy Strosh marks it right at the top of the oh, goal square. Oh, my goodness. He is Cameron. a serious talent, Tom Strosh. He had his name on that for a long, long way as that ball was coming in. There was only one player that was going to mark that footy. He positioned himself so well. 15 goals on the season. He's been in the best seven times this year, Tommy Strosh. He's looking like it might be time number eight because he drills this one from the top of the square. He gets his first of the afternoon. And this is a really good game of footy going on here at the QEO. Perfect conditions. And, well, they are showing it. 4-2-26 now, uh, the Bulldogs. It is the Dragons who are 2-1-13, a 13-point margin score. Sponsored Jason Westcott Builder. Yes, the difference in this game so far is the way the ball's being uh, distributed into the forward line. Golden Square, they're precise. They know what they want to do. They're hitting leads up. Whereas Sandhurst, for me, early on, the pressure's been on them and uh, there's been a couple of up-and-under kicks which has made it easy for the Golden Square defence. Gisborne, 5-4, 34 lead. Eagle Hawk, 2-1-13. So back in the middle. Eaton handballs out. Toma then emerges with it. He'll go wide on the pull side wing before sending it to centre-half forward. It spills off hands, but now it'll emerge. They'll run it inside forward, 50. Jack Stewart goes goalwards and he just puts it through for a minor score. Going around the grounds, Kangaroo flat to uh, three points, uh, Storm 37. Last start for the Storm, it is Kerno going to bring the ball back into play. He emerges with it, then he hits right in front of the poolside change rooms. And then the kick was smothered, so a good little defensive pressure from the square. Toma went through, lost it, picked up by Connick, then Connick handballed it off to Keating, then he went back in the Connick direction. They emerge with it, the Dragons, and the kick will be turned over straight into the hands of Zach Shelton. He was minding his own business, having a cup of tea, and then the ball fell in his lap. He'll chip short to Dylan Hurd. South Benigo, 5-2, 32, uh, lead uh, Maribor, 1-2-8. So Hurd's looking to find something in board, eventually decides that his best course of option is just to bang it up towards centre-half forward. No mark taken. Sanders player tried to claim the mark down there, but it came off hands of about 10 players, Norm, so I don't think you're going to get that one paid. Umpire says we'll ball it up. Gisborne, 5-3, uh, 33, lead Eagle Hawk, 2-1, 13. Well, it's Darcy Mills down there trying to claim it. Ball comes off hands. Inside forward, 50. Tardup tuddled it out. Tanner Rayner couldn't get it. They emerge with it, though, through Toma. Toma handballs backwards to Kelly. Kelly sends it right inside forward. It's picked up. It's going to be a little flying shot out of there from Humphrey, and it's going to be marked on the last line of defence by Kerno who's been good, and he yes. spots up a quick kick to McLean, and McLean's got plenty of space. He then chips it further forward to Keating. Keating can get and go, but he slows things down. Probably nothing really further of the footy. He had a paddock of space, but he's forced us to slow it up, and he'll handball over the top to Jake McLean. McLean will then send the ball in. He was dealt with by Daniels after he got rid of it. Some appeals for lateness, not doing intercept mark John Coe. John Coe's kick, though, will be turned over. It's picked off by Stag. Stag got it off to to Lockie Hood. Hood bangs it inside forward 50. No look marked by Trollful of Golden Square. Speaking of long sleeves, Jack Trollful's in the long sleeves this afternoon. If you're playing along at home and you're just wondering what they're wearing this afternoon. Yes. He's in for a hot afternoon according to you Cameron because so the weather is very warm this afternoon. Dragons emerge with it. They bang it inside forward 50 but Zach Shelton's going to take his second intercept mark in a matter of minutes. Chips it across to Troffel, who's been good for Golden Square in the last line of defence. Very handy player for Golden Square this year. He then comes down the line. Ireland gets up and takes the mark from behind the pack. He threw from three deep, but he was able to pluck it. He quickly wastes no time sending it inside forward 50. And Kobe Max sets out on a lead again. Yes. It's his third mark inside forward 50. And he's 40 metres, well, he's 50 metres out directly in front of goal. He slotted the other one from the boundary line. <laughs> He'd have to like his chances from directly he does. in front. He likes it. He uh, really took his time walking back. And uh, he's as confident as he was with that last kick, which he kicked uh, truly. Oh, they've kept Fergus Green quiet so far. But Kobe Maxted is stepping up and playing an unreal role. 50 out. He goes oh. goalwards. He's got the distance. Has he got oh, the accuracy? Oh, he oh. has. He is an absolute superstar. The ceiling on what Kobe Max there could be in a few years' time is anywhere to be seen. What a player he is at such a young age. Score sponsor is Don is good. It's 3-1-19, the Dragons. It is 
Go, oh, it's four goals, three, 27, Golden Square. 25 minutes gone, opening quarter. Oh, mate, Norm, that is just a magnificent kick. Oh, it was, and oh. uh, for the second time, the goal umpire did not move. It went straight over his head. But that, this is what you expect from Sandhurst. Uh, you keep Fergus Green quiet up, up Bob's Maxstead, and uh, it's great that they've got those two prongs down there to make Golden Square's defence work hard. Back in the middle we go. Daniels tries to knock it down. It's picked off by Tarju. Handball smothered. But they're able to work it out. Harrison free. Chips it out. Tarju to Wharton. In fact, it's uh, going to be sent inside forward 50 by Jimmy Coglin, I should say. But he's found intercept player there in John Coe, who's been Mr. Ever Reliable in the defence for Golden Square for such a long period of time. John Coe. High ball out of defence. Pull side wing. Tarju tried to knock it over. It did. It found its way into the hands of Ireland. Ireland's kick forward. Came out from Lockie Hood. Macy Eaton, who's got the jumper ripped again. I reckon that's the third time this year I've seen him with a ripped jumper, Macy Eaton. Maybe they just tried to re-stitch up the one from earlier in the year and the stitching's come out. I'm not sure. But it's turned over. It'll be sent inside forward 50 by Caleb Connick. It carries over the back as the player that slipped over there was Lockie Wright and Zach Shelton was able to take his fortunes and take an intercept mark. Yes, once again, we see another forward 50 entry by Sanders, which was just put up in the air and uh, was easy for Golden Square to pick off. He chips to Freckleton under the scoreboard, then Freckleton back into the defensive goal square finds Trollful. 26 minutes gone in this quarter. It feels like Golden Square looking for the quarter time siren at the minute. Out he comes a defence. It's going to hit a pack of three Dragons. It spills to Pinnager. His first kick in senior football. Goes looking for Max there. It spills off hands. It's roved by Stag, and Stag has put through the goal. I thought he missed it from a second there, Nick Stag, but it's gone through. There, 4 1 25. Golden Square, 4 3 27. And for all Golden Square's early dominance, it's just yes. a two point margin. Score That's sponsor, Bendigo City Framers. It's just perfect crumbing, uh, Norm, isn't it? He just got back <laughs> in front of the pack. The ball was punched clear. Grabbed it, kicked the goal. That's right, and that's what we've known from Nick Stag, uh, Nick Stag over the years. Uh, he knows where to be front and centre, and uh, even under pressure being being pushed as he kicked it, he still made no mistake. But once again, excellent effort by Max Stead. Uh, made a contest, brought the ball to ground, and let the, let the smalls go to work. Back in the middle. Daniels has been dizzy, knocks it forward. Is then able to get it, handball off. They'll send it inside, 450 from Westcott. It goes right towards the Rosengren direction. Kerno comes to lend a hand. Battling away down there for the Dragons is Ruff, who looks like he might have the job now. We hope this game uh, continues to be tight, Cameron, because I'm thinking around the ground's not that good at the moment. Gisborne, 40, Lead Eaglehawk, 14, Kangaroo Flat, 9, Storm, 44, and Maryborough, 8 to South Benigo, 38. Tardrew tried to run it out of defence. Couldn't quite. Picked up and sent clear by the Dragons. Mark taken. Lockie Wright wants to change his boots at quarter time. That's the fourth time I've seen him slip over. They'll send it out to Maxted, who is everywhere at the moment. He marks centre wing position. What if he didn't bring another pair? No. He'll be in trouble all day. He chips short. It's taken away by Keating. He'll send it inside forward 50, but Trollful gets back into the hole and takes the intercept mark for Golden Square. Wastes no time chipping it back to Lockie Humphrey. Humphrey then chips to Brody James. James will then send one over the top to Freckleton. They're just trying to play short possession footy Golden Square. Freckleton then wheels around onto the right, down the wing. Kerno sets himself from behind. Couldn't quite get a look at it to Marks. He was able to tap it towards the boundary line and very cleverly paddle it over <laughs> for a boundary throw in. Was looking, uh, using the experience they call that, uh, Trav. Uh, just wanted to get over the line and not make it too obvious. A bit like Norm hanging around the canteen at half time. Very keen to get something, but just didn't want to knock people out of the way. Although I've seen him do that. Knocked down. Taju was taken in a strong tackle. Fed out the handball. And spills out. Good tackling there by young Westcott of the Dogs. Nothing will stop Norm when he wants a can of Coke sometimes. <laughs> oh, pink lady. Daniels wants it forward. Came off hands from Coglin to Tarju. Bounces it in the Maxed's direction. Freckleton up against him is happy to see it. Over the boundary line. 
60 out from goal, right in front of the Golden Dragons marquee. Plenty of people yes. packed out that marquee. They are loving their afternoon. The sun's out. The uh, barbecue's uh, going. They're really enjoying their Saturday afternoon at local football. Absolutely. The Sandhurst Golden Dragons. Sexton got some separation from Daniels and just pumped it inside forward. 50 to Maxted. Off hands. Toma gave it to Humphrey. Humphrey was then taken in the tackle. It spills out. Trying to find a way through was Coglin. Got it out to Robinson. Couldn't quite take it. Harrison Kelly. We'll clear it out, but the siren sounds to end a really fascinating quarter of footy. It is the Sandhurst Dragons, 4-1-25 to Golden Square, 4-3-27. Just going around the grounds, uh, Gisborne at the moment, 6-4-40, uh, Elite Eagle Hawk 2 afternoon, local footy lives at Fresh Benigo. Cameron Power gets us underway, second term, QEO. So in the middle we go, Daniel's got a run up at it, knocked it forward. Rosengreen tried to go through, couldn't quite take it up cleanly. Sanders then come in to lay the pressure. Player at the bottom of that pack there it was Jack Keating, who attacked the ball hard for the Dragons. We go up again. Lockie Hood couldn't emerge through. He's taken in a tackle by Rosengreen, who is very strong around the ball. Very strong. Ball up again. Daniels got it forward. Picked off and banged forward for Sandhurst. It came out to Wilkinson. Wilkinson's then cleared the kick across. A strong mark taken there by Jack Keating. Held his ground nicely when he knew contact was coming. Yes, he got the contact too, and he still controlled the footy. That was a great mark at halfback. Looks for somewhere to go. Eventually decides to switch backwards. It's in the hands of Tanner Nelly, who's in the long sleeves for Sandhurst. Nelly's kick is an absolute shocker, and it has floated... Maybe out of bounds on the full, it has. So it'll be a free kick going the way of Golden Square. Did it go out of bounds on the full? Maybe not. Might no, have just it's, bounced it's gonna, in play. It bounced out, Cam. But that was good work. Good pressure by um, Tanner Rayner there. Anyone playing along at home? I mentioned the jump rip number. Yes. Macy Eaton, number six, is now wearing number 15 after having his jumper ripped in that opening quarter. So if you're wondering who the number 15 for Golden Square out there, it is, is Macy Eaton. Forward they go. Tarju emerged with it to Stag. Then he tried to go back to Tarju, paddled it forward. Couldn't quite take it cleanly because he's got four Golden Square players around him. What do they call a pack of dogs? Is it a pack? He's <laughs> not like that, a I pack of dogs. I think he might have hit the nail on the head yes. there, uh, Cameron. We'll, we'll go with pack. In the middle, Timer emerged with it. Sent it forward. Intercept. And we'll have another ball. What about a pack of dragons? <laughs> no, it's not quite uh, what we're thinking at this stage. <laughs> we'll get back to you. <laughs> there might be some dragons at half time. Who knows? As Connick bangs the ball forward for Sandhurst. Mark taken intercept by Shelton of the Bulldogs, who, of course, missed seven games through suspension. Was back into the side last week. He's playing again this round. Bang down, so we're only expecting him to get better. After missing such a long time, and not only was it seven weeks, but it also proved to be 11 weeks of footy with all the buyers in the league norm. That's a long time to be missing. It is, yes. And uh, you're looking at dragons. It might be a mob of dragons, uh, Cam. Throw in. Pull side wing. Daniels emerged with it. Gave it off to Monty. Monty then got it to Rosengreen. Good build up this to Kelly. Kelly's got a short pass at the top of the 50. He finds it. The wheel inside forward 50 through Tom Toma. And Toma drills the goal. A player of his class was not missing from 25 out directly in front. Great goal, Golden Square. They get their fifth goal of the day. They move to five goals, three, 33. And it is Sandhurst who are four goals, one, 25. Score sponsor, JB Reece Stumping. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. Yes, a good start to the second quarter by Golden Square there. Daniels, ball out of the ruck. They kept the ball in motion and uh, a lovely kick over the top to Tommy Tomer. And uh, when he gets the ball in front of goals, uh, he makes no mistake. Oh, the important part about that, it didn't, it didn't steady. He backed himself and just gained 10 metres before he kicked. So starting to win the little ball out of the middle now at the moment, the Dogs. They'll win the clearance again. It spills out to Reeves. Reeves then sends it out in the direction of Kelly. Couldn't quite take the mark. Paddling it off hands. Connick's over there. He couldn't take it. Going in and picking up the ball again there for the Golden Square. 
way at the bottom of the pack there. It might have been young Kelly who's having a good crack for such a young player. Daniels gets up, jumping up. Almost like his brother would be at the basketball in the Olympics in Paris. Disappointing loss for them last night against Greece, but they still went through to the quarterfinals with other results going their way. Ended up second, I think, uh, and going through. Mm, yeah, Remember? Canada losing, uh, beating Spain last night mm. helped them out with that one. So far wing, back here at the QEO, a long way from Paris here at the QEO yes. in Elizabeth Oval. Monty emerges with it. He can run his full distance of 15 and send the pass in the Rainer direction. But the Dragons have got the numbers there. Tananelli picked it up, tried to take on the tackle of Rainer. Great second effort from Rainer. And Tananelli, stone cold, dropped it 25 out directly in front of goal. So it'll be a free kick going the way of the Golden Square. And a chance for Nelly. Yeah, it's a dangerous spot to make a mistake. If you're going to make one, don't make them there because uh, really, really close to goal. And really, uh, Golden Square started this term like they started the first term. They are barking the Bulldogs at the QEO. So Rayner, a couple of Tanners going at it. The Ruckman Tanner Rayner. The Golden Square, he puts through a minor he score. He stabbed at that, didn't he really did. kick he, through it. He kicked it like a ruckman, you would imagine. 4 one twenty-five <laughs> to Golden Square, 5-4-34. Oh, you reckon they're all duds, all, all dud kicks? So Free brings it in for Sandhurst, Harsh. chips it into the middle, finds its way into the hands of Pinnager. He works it to centre-half forward. It just plugged up in the ground nicely for Burke. Burke was under all sorts of pressure, but he was able to recover. They fire it out to Brody James. James is then taken in the tackle. It's picked up by Sandhurst. Stag around the body, bit of a no-look kick, and, and Golden Square play there. Monty went back nicely, was collected, front on, receives the free kick. Quick to waste, well, not quick to waste any time, sending it out to Daniels. Daniels handballs off. And it's going to be turned over, though, by, might have been James in there. In fact, that's Tomo who's able to find his way through. Got it up towards Sue and Wing. They emerge with it, and it's Kerno that takes it over the boundary line for a boundary throw in. It wasn't uh, pretty across our back with uh, Daniels, but, uh, however, they did eventually get the ball up towards uh, centre wing. One of those players, Kai Daniels, you just don't know what you're going to get from him. No. That's good. I like that. Sometimes maybe good. Other times he'll just do things that'll go, where did that come from? Monty couldn't quite take it. It's picked off by the Dragons. Wilkinson found a way through. Chipped the pass Somewhere. up towards centre half forward. It's that man again, Kobe Maxett. Yes. He's about 70 from home. He's quick to turn around on the right. Reels it into the pack. Needing someone to fly. It spills to the back of the pack. It's trophy for Golden Square. They're going to switch it across very dangerously to John Coe. Coe then took on the tackle. Was able to just get put to ball. Bouncing around. Connick for the Dragons on the right. Sends it back into the hot spot. Beautiful kick by Connick. And, well, it's marked. It's going to be sent forward here by Jake McLean, who's got a player in the pocket. It was Max dead, but the kick just probably might have been better off going for a shot mm. himself. And Golden Square, they get out of trouble with a short pass to Daniels. Daniels' short pass finds its way into the hands of Lockie Humphrey. He's working nicely around the ball, though, Daniel. Uh, Daniel certainly has... Uh they try to bring the ball out of their fence. He's one of their go-to players. Well, Humphrey won't like that kick again, Norm. Did he kick it straight into the man on the mark then, did he? Yeah, he got too close and it was yeah. smothered, yes. I was looking further down trying to see where the kick had ended up and next thing I know it was back over the boundary line for a throw in. Yeah, he wasn't a funny old fellow that time. He's a bit disappointed. Thrown in. 70 out from goal. Too high. Monty will be collected high, so he receives the free kick for Golden Square. Sort of let the umpire know that too, uh, Cameron. Another one of those Essendon VFL listed players back into this Golden Square side. Junior player all the way through at Golden Square. Terrific future ahead of young Ricky Monty. Comes back to Humphrey. Humphrey then pulls the kick. Not sure it was his intended target was James. It just bounced in front of him. Going through for Sandhurst there was right. He couldn't take it. Monty picked it up, just got the handball off in time to Trelfel. Trelfel to Westcott, back to Trelfel. He paddled forward. He then somehow found it to Monty. Monty's just banged it inside forward 50, not really looking, and it's going to be an intercept mark for young Pinninger for the Dragons, who will quickly play on, and he'll chip it short to Matty Wilkinson. Wilkinson's got the short pass further forward. It'll be Jake McLean, who marks it right on the paint of 50, about five metres in from the boundary line. 
Penny goes City end, right hand forward pocket. His kicks a shocker straight to Toma. Toma handballs off to Burke. Burke then sends it inside forward 50. In fact, it was Holt. Holt's kick will be turned over as well. Just a few turnovers sneak into this game. Penninger, who gives it to the ever experienced Kerno, who chips it short. The co coaches for next year linking up. Kerno to Taju. Taju to Hood. Then Hood handballs off to Keating. Keating's got some space to run it through the middle of the ground at the QEO. Sends it towards centre half forward. Green kept his feet and come leading out at it. He then rode the bump nicely by Humphrey, but he might be in some trouble here, Fergus Green. Umpire gives him a reprieve. He may have dragged that one back in, but we'll have a ball up. Centre wing position. Dragons starting to move the footy a little bit better, but a lot of turnovers sneaking into this game at the moment. Free kick's been pulled out of there. It's going to go the way of the Dragons. I think the turnover you talk about uh, is caused by pressure. There's a lot of pressure on the uh, players as they get the ball. A lot of traffic around that area as well. And Matty Wilkinson receives the free kick for a high tackle. He sends it up in the hood direction, but Golden Square player floating in front of that one. There was it's Homer. A it's a body-on-body -body, uh, contest, Norm. There's uh, not much room uh, to get through at the moment, and Golden Square are liking to close it down with a lot of stoppages. Yes, they are. Quarter time, MCD FNL down at the uh, the den from Paul Wicks. Harcourt 3-7-25 to Trentham, two goals straight, 12. So the throw in right on the paint of 50. Hood handballed it. They're forced to go towards goal. It's a flying shot out of there, and it's a minor score. So that'll make the score. The Dragons 4-2-26, Golden Square 5-4, 34-10 Ten minutes gone in this second quarter. Yeah, that's what I'm liking about this, uh, this game so far, Wallace. The pressure from both sides has been immense. The Golden Square bring the ball back in quickly, but it's a rather dangerous kick. Freckleton's been forced to go through, and Freckleton... He was tackled, didn't dispose of it legally. He's been pinned for holding the ball. It's going to be a free kick, and Nick Staggs got up holding his hand. He doesn't yes. look, looks a little bit sore. But it's Stagg. When he releases the kick, he'll do so from right on the red stripe of the 50-meter arc. He then sent, decides to go with a short pass. Fooled everyone. It then finds Taju. Taju emerged with it. He kicked off the side of the boot, bounces towards the top of the square. It'll be hard up against the boundary line where Hood will be happy to see it over. What comes with that pressure, though, Norm, will be uh, mistakes and some turnovers as well. And we're seeing in the second term in particular quite a few turnovers. That, that's right, Wallace. Uh, spot on the mark there. And for here, Sanders, they've had the ball in their forward line for about the last five minutes. They must make something of it while it's in there. Daniels knocks it down. It's cleared out of there for Golden Square. No one able to get on the end of it. Rosengren didn't quite get the bounce he wanted. Nelly in there for the Dragons. It's picked up and then handballed out of there by Ruff. Comes out to Penninger. Penninger's kicked towards centre-half forward. No mark taken by Macy Eaton, who's in the number 15 jumper after his jumper was ripped earlier. Wharton oh. was then picked up, and he was absolutely smashed he by was. Tom Toma. He knew it was coming, and he copped it very nicely. A good, fair hit. Yes, it was, but uh, a lot of pressure involved. It is a very pressure game here. Top of the 50. Brody James for Golden Squares, taken down by Jimmy Coglin. I like Coglin there. He actually t made that tackle really nicely. He rolled over himself to make sure that he didn't throw mm. Brody James into the ground then. Bit of experience on show. Ball up, then hits the bottom of the pack again. We'll have another ball up. One thing's noticeable, Golden Square very keen to tackle and tackle hard and try to get Sanders' opponents to the ground in that tackle as well. Taju fires out the handball. It'll be a flying shot there coming from Jack Keating. And Jack Keating has put it through. Really good goal from Keating. And he puts the Dragons back within two points. 5-2-32. Golden Square, 5-4-34. Score sponsor, Bendigo City Framers. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. I'm thinking he took two steps, Norm, when he kicked that. And he kicked it, what, 40 metres? 40 metres, yes. It was uh, excellent. Uh, he steadied up enough with those two steps, Wallace, to make no mistake. Mm -hmm. But the uh, in-tight work by uh, Lockie Tardru there, excellent. It was a lovely handball out of a tight situation. And as I said, Sanders had to score while they had the ball in there. They've been able to do that. Now they've got to mount more pressure in the centre and, and have another chance. All right, to half time score Mount Pleasant, 8 6 54 to Elmore, six goals straight, 36. Second last round of the Heathkit League going on today, so we are getting close towards finals football, and it is finals football esque weather here at the QEO. 
Golden Square yes. working up towards centre half forward. Monty fired out the handball. Coglin got it to Taju, then Taju to Connick. That's Caleb Connick, who then chips it out in the direction of Lockie Wright, who takes it over the boundary line. And as we heard pre-game, uh, Caleb Connick's the one that's been doing the second ruck work. If something happens to Sexton, uh, I think uh, Sandhurst are going to struggle for a ruckman uh, in coming rounds. So keep your fingers crossed that Sexton stays fit and stays on the ground. Well, Norm's on the money there because Connick's in the ruck up against Tanner Rayner. A couple of number 16s doing battle. And the free kick's been pulled out of there. Going to go the way of Taju. So Lockie Taju. He's starting to have an influence on the game now as we get into this second quarter. Ever-experienced Lockie Taju, of course, captain of the Collingwood VFL team for many years. Now back at Sandhurst and taking on the co-coaching role next year. Chips it short to James Coglin. Coglin will then bang it inside forward 50 for Sandhurst. Needs a fly. Ball hits the bottom of the pack. No one able to really gain much of a... Clean possession in there at the moment. It bounces around like a pinball eventually. It hits the bottom and it says no more lives. We'll ball it up. Around the grounds we go. South Benigo, 8-3-51. Leeds, Maribor, 1-2-8. Stross tried to emerge with it. Couldn't quite. Eaton went through. Then sent inside, but it's turned over. Stross bangs it out of there for Golden Square. It works out well. Clears the back of the pack. Island was bumped off the footy by Monty. Monty then kept it in play, handballed it straight to Island, but he couldn't quite control it. Burke got it, gave it to Sampson, back to Monty. Monty then handballs further forward towards Stewart. Free kick's been pulled. Deemed the throw. Yes. It didn't quite get the fist of the footy, I don't think, Norm. No, no. I think you're right there, Wallace, That's and the right. umpire was right too. Pinijar was just able to get the kick away before he was tackled. Goes down towards Wharton. Turned over there by Holt, who's doing a good job to Toma. Toma's got Trelfel, who's able to mark it above his head. In the long sleeves this afternoon. Mm. Couldn't ask for a better spot for the ball to be in terms of a broadcaster. He'll chip it inside <laughs> forward 50. It's a little bit shallow. Burke has to come in, dive on top of it. And as a result, he almost had to dive forward and trap it as opposed to being able to slide forward and mark it. We'll get a boundary throw in. Yeah, around the grounds. Kangaroo flat, one four ten trail. Storm, eight two fifty. Throw in. It'll land right on the 5 of the 5-0 to signal 50 metres out from goal. Toma went through. Strost was about to run through and have a flying shot, That's but unfortunately that was it was a That was a Sanders handball. player that knocked it on after the handball. So it will be Caleb Connick who receives the free kick. He finds Alex Wharton. I think it was against Toma because I think it just illegally came out of his hands. Fires it wide to Isaac Ruff. Isaac Ruff. Chips it to Keating, who kicked the last goal, which was an absolute beauty for Sandhurst. He'll switch it right across the ground to Harrison Free, who's now got free range to merge with the footy. He'll handball to Connick, and then Connick will then work it forward. His kick gets nicely into the hands of Wilkinson. Wilkinson has a bounce. He runs inside forward 50. He goes goalwards. Matty Wilkinson, take a bow. He has drilled it. And the Sandhurst faithful, they really enjoyed hang that on, one. Hang on, hang on. It's not all clear. Are we yet. getting the arc review, are we? No, yes, it's all clear now. It's all clear now. It's through for a goal. They just wanted to take away from the build up. It was a beautiful <laughs> goal for Wilkinson. 6 2 38. The Dragons are in front. Golden Square 5 4 34. You can hear what the crowd thinks yes, of that one in front of us. Well, Score sponsor JB Restumping. Nothing could take away from that magnificent call of that goal, Norm. Uh, if you're an Eagle Hawk fan, look away now. At the moment, uh, 2 2 14 Eagle Hawk. Gisborne 7 5 47. Yes, that's uh, an interesting result down there. I thought Eagle Hawk might have been a little bit closer to Gisborne than that, but excellent work by Sanders yes. there. That's the way they love to. Uh, Change from side to side, and they did it perfectly then. Magnificent by Wilkinson. So, one out to Jake McLean out of the middle. He sends it inside forward 50. Green comes through and hits the pack hard. It spills to the back. Herd's in there for the dogs. They handball it out. It's a flying shot out of there for the Dragons. It might have been Wharton. It is Joel Wharton. Something out of nothing. Joel Wharton puts through the goal, and Sanders have opened up a 10-point lead. Can mm. you believe it? I can. 
Seven goals, two, 44. Golden Square, 5, 4, 34. Score sponsor, Bendigo City Framers. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. He's just uh, lurking around there, and the little lurker got it, and uh, he knows where the goals are. That's right. As I said pre-game, it's it's the likes of uh, Wharton and Stagg up forward that uh, have been able to find the uh, goals at ground level. Uh, Wilkinson running out of the back line. That was an excellent goal before. And uh, Nick Stagg now here uh, having a run up and down the boundary line. He looks a little bit sore from uh, the last uh, contest he was in. Well, you mentioned Connick's in the ruck because Sexton's in the hands of the trainers right in front of us, Norm. Keep an eye on that one. Uh, he's got troubles with his right, uh, left shoulder. Coglin fires out the handball to Kerno. That's Kerno Bryce according to my sheet down here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know who wrote that one. Nah. We'll get a throw in on the far side. Yeah, well, we might see Nick Stagg have a bit of a break for a while. He's having a, uh, a grab of his uh, right hamstring. So Sexton back on the ground now. as He has to run all the way from one side of the ground to try and get involved in this ruck contest, and he's not quite going to make it. So who's going to go up in the ruck here for the Dragons? It looks like Lockie Hood's going to have to do the ruck work. That's an interesting decision. It's knocked forward. Monty, he emerged. With, in fact, it was Reeves. Reeves got it to Strosh, who paddled it forward straight to Hood. Hood then handballed it forward. They then work it back. Ruffle then chipped the ball short. No mark taken. Robinson flew out hard at it. Hits the ground level. Westcott picks it up for the dogs. He emerges with it. Handball was about to put Trolfle into space, but it was partially smothered. It worked back. They found Stewart. Got Stewart's got out. Stewart's got Burke. He put it out into the lead of Burke. Burke probably would have liked it a little bit closer to home. And you can yeah, see he turns around and he happy. just looks at... Oh, he was in a great spot, Trey. Stewart and says... Just put it where I can put do my best front work. So I can run onto it. Yes. Yes, he certainly uh, right had more pace than Burke there, and uh, Burke um, looked uh, a, a big lumbering uh, ruckman heading towards the ball there. with that kick. So knocked forward, handball out of there for the Dragons. They dive on top of it. Comes out to Coglin. Coglin paddled it to Keating, but it's turned over. Westcott handballs to Stewart, then Stewart on the left. That's a nice little pass to find a teammate 40 metres out, almost directly in front. And the mark has been taken by Jack Sampson. Mm, there was a pack of Bulldogs that time standing at... Uh, I, I think Daniels, there's two or three players could have marked that footy. I thought Daniels did a great job there in uh, balking Wharton's run at the football to make it easier for, uh, for the mark to be taken. Probably been a little bit critical of Jack Stewart at times where he may have blazed away in, long way, uh, in previous. Cameron? It was very well nicely done to short oh, pass it to Samson. on the long run up. It's a long run up. So Samson comes in. He will then fire it goalwards from 40 metres out. He sticks it right and it stays right minus score. Needs to go back another 10. Only just made it in for a point actually. 44 plays 35. 21 minutes gone in the second quarter. Score sponsor JB restumping. I can see some uh, dragon-like activity flags and a big dragon coming in to the Queen Elizabeth Oval as we speak. Yeah, well, Freeze it's played on out of defence and he's had an absolute mare because he's caught holding the ball. And, wow, he will not mm. be wanting to see that one again. And Sampson's going to get take two. Yes. So let's see if he can do this. Jack Sampson. He goes. He's going back a long way. He's, he's uh, at North Benigo near the Cambrian <laughs> Hotel as we speak. 15 metres out. There's a big dragon the behind the goals, uh, Cameron. Do you see that? Yeah. It's not Easter time, is it? No, it's early nice rehearsal. Looking dragons. Oh, it's good looking dragons. I don't mind those ones. Those smaller ones I'm not too oh. fond of. But Samson comes in. We'll focus on the footy. And again, this time he sticks it to the left. So back to back points. One to the left, one to the right. Jack Sampson, Here I am he bowls them in all the right. Of you. Yeah, that's all right. A couple of misses here. Could be costly for Golden Square later on in the day. Used to be a song about that, didn't there? Yeah. He goes to the left, no, he goes to the right. we won't go into upset one of our key bowlers, that did. So Bryce Kerno, oh, he yeah, works yeah, that forward. Yeah. Gee, he responded out of the Ashes series after that, though, didn't yes. he? Down the far wing we go. Turned over. Dylan Hurd emerges with it. Handball forward. Co waited nicely to then find Hurd. Was able to merge with the ball, banged it towards the half forward, and taking the intercept oh. mark for the Dragons they've will be a, rough. They've had a, f a fair bit of footy, the Bulldogs, in there attacking 50, but uh, can't get a goal. Rough to Keating, then Keating to Kerno. Kerno will then send it down the poolside wing. Finds its way into the hands of Wilkinson, who's having a good game this afternoon. Wilkinson fires it forward. Nally's got time to recover after he didn't quite take the mark, but he was taken in the tackle by John Coe. And disposed of it incorrectly. No, no the umpire said he might low. have got him a little yep. bit low. And, well, rather fortune. Lux of fortune if your name's Tananelli. He has the ball. <laughs> He'll look to send it inside forward 50. 
Hope he's got a ticket for tonight then. Inside, it goes right to a pack of players and a good defensive mark taken. It might be Shelton who took a really strong mark in the pack there, did Zach Shelton. His headband fell off in the process. So, Young of Shelton. course, as the priority, he gets up and he fixes his headband, makes sure his hair's all right, then he grabs the footy. Is that young Shelton? No. He is quite young, Zach Shelton. Mm. I think there's a TV <laughs> show. <laughs> uh, what do they say? Leave the funny stuff to the funny people. Yes. Well, well, the kick might have gone out of bounds on the full that. here. Golden Square player took the mark there. It was mark taken by Trollful, I think it is down there. But it's going to be turned over. Sanders are going to receive a free kick. Throw it out of bounds on the full. Wharton fires at Goldwoods and he's just missed. So, yes, Golden Square just need a goal now. They've got to get it forward and, and better entry into their forward 50. There's nobody on the Golden Square side of the centre. They, they, they kind of had the opportunity. They kicked two points. Yeah, that's right. And, and uh, yeah, that, they are crucial losses, are misses in this turn. Well, Trophel's played on a defence and he's yeah. kicked it straight to Lockie Tarju. You don't want to give this Bad. man any extra possessions. Absolute be. accumulator of the footy. He's 65 metres out from goal. It's interesting there. He looks like uh, he's backing himself. Every Golden Square player is Not inside sure the be. forward 50. Taju plays on, then chips it inside. It bounces okay for McLean. Tommy Strosh was fooled by it. Spills off hands. Bound, we'll have a ball up. Mm. Every Golden Square player yeah. inside their defensive 50. So if they 50, clear the kick yeah. out, there's eight Sanders players That's right, it'll go straight it to go back, back in, in. And if it gets to Kurnow, it'll go straight over their heads. There's not a one player from centre back for the Golden Square Forward so line. They emerge with it, but they're forced to handball backwards before they can go forward. Rosengren tips the short pass. It now works into the hands of Kelly, who works it forward. Reeves. Reeves to Trollful. Then Trollful's kick straight down the line. And Harrison Free was uncontested, and he decided to double fist it through for a boundary throw in instead of trying to take the mark. Maybe he thought he was under a bit more pressure than he actually was. And he didn't like it. Golden Square players had a, had a word to him, and uh, now that we've got a uh, <laughs> tussle behind play. Well, Skirmish. Might have, might have given him a bit of free advice. Hmm. Throw in. Bouncing around. Eaton couldn't quite take it. Wilkinson fired out the handball. Free. Emerges with it. Sends it towards center forward. It bounces off to Robinson. Robinson then handballs long. It comes out to into the hands of McLean. McLean fires it backwards. Boundary throw in right in front of the Golden Square supporters. Poolside wing. Plenty of blue and gold on that far side. Yes, that was good work by Robinson then. He picked up the loose ball at uh, full tilt and got a good handball away, but uh, it fell down with the second handball. So Daniels got into the front of Sexton. Then he was able to pick it up at grand level. Emerges with the handball. Straight to Tarju, who was pounced upon by Terence Reeves. And, well, Joel calls him the wet weather specialist, so maybe that's why we haven't seen him too many times today. It's a bit dry for him. We'll go around the grounds. Uh, Maribor 8, South Benigo 51. Uh, Storm 50, to Kangaroo Flat 10. And Gisborne 47, Lead Eagle Hawk 14. Dragons have worked it 10 metres further forward from where that last stoppage was, but it's gone out of bounds for another boundary throw in. Leachville Gumbauer 4 11, uh, Lead Huntley 1 3. Pretty healthy crowd in this afternoon on a very nice day for footy. Sun is shining at the QEO and we've got a top five battle which is living up to those expectations at the moment. It's work forward. It is. Good game. McLean bangs it out to Hood. Hood goes goalwards. It's going to go right to the line. Green couldn't take it. Spills off hands. Trollful emerges with it. He's got space. But as we talked about, Norm, he's just got absolutely nothing to kick to. So he has a bounce. Thinks about it. Danger, Will Has Robinson. a coffee and a scone, then kicks it straight across the ground, straight to the yeah. hands of Lockie Hood. No good. Hood goes with a short pass to Taju, and that is just a result of how they're setting up with absolutely nothing further to the ball. And not the bounces, they had space and just nothing. Not only was it a poor kick uh, across the face of goal, it was a poor kick to one player who had four opponents against him, and uh, it seemed that up in Tardrew's hands, and you would think that uh, from here he'll make no mistake. Well, some coaches might have brought him straight to the bench and given him a bit of a word of advice after an effort like that. I know I was always told never to go across goal. Yes. Well, I don't think you... But he had no that. other option that time. Yeah. Taju's going to result of the shot 30 metres out, and he celebrates it straight off the boot. Taju's got the goal. 12 games this year, 12 times in the best. He is an absolute superstar. 8-3-51 now, the Dragons. 
Golden Square are uh, five goals, six thirty-six. The score sponsor is Bendigo City Framers. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. Yes, good work by uh, Sandhurst there. Much for their own doing, Golden Square had nowhere to go out of defence. They had to go across the face of goal. And it was one against four. Easy pickings for Sandhurst. And a good goal from uh, Tardrew. Maybe the Mickelson medalist for uh, 2024. Just goes to show you too, Norm, those two cru crucial misses at this end of the ground uh, halfway through this turn by Golden Square. Costly. Well, since then, uh, Sandhurst had kicked the last three goals. So Toma emerged with the footy. He was taken high. He quickly plays on on the mark. He races away from Taju. Sends it in that Strosh direction, but he just got caught behind. Ireland got in front. And, and Tommy Strosh for too high. infringed on Ireland. He just slipped at the contest. Might be the Liam Island fan club in front yeah, of us here. Is. They're very happy with Liam Island's work as the red sign goes up in front of us. The Sandhurst Dragons. One side red, one side green. Probably don't have to figure out what that means unless they're trying to play tricky buggers. The kick comes across into the hands of Keating, but the siren sounds tricky to beat him. So I'm guessing the red sign means the siren's nearly about to sound, so slow it down, and that's exactly what happened. They got a tricky buggers sign, you reckon? 8 3 51, the Dragons. What 5 6 36, Golden Square, but it looks like the Dragon action mightn't be finished at half time by the looks of what's going on out here. No, it could be some uh, uh, Dragons coming onto the ground, Norm. Uh, what do you make of the first? building <laughs> and we can get the go after the umpire to go of an issue a red card by the way let's look at the score line it's 8 3 51 Cameron's having trouble getting his leg over <laughs> just think, got it wrapped up yeah, in the cords think, think what you may of that 8 3 51 <laughs> Sandhurst the golden square 5 6 36 we're about to get the second half underway the dragons are making their way away from the QEO well done to Chinese Association. Well done to Santa's Football Netball Club. That was a magnificent at halftime. Let's get the football action underway. Uh, local footy lives at Benigo's Fresh Cameron Power second half action. The siren goes, but the, strum, the drums will still bang on in the background. It's a second half. What have the Dragons got here at the QEO? Golden Square, can they come back? They've worked it up towards centre half forward. No one able to take any clean possession. We'll have a ball up. Yes, yeah, a good start by uh, Golden Square there. Uh, once again, Daniel's got the uh, tap out. He's, he's taking control in the racket uh, during that second quarter. Daniel's knocks it forward. Off hands. They work it out to Kerno. Then Kerno's handball was turned over by Strosh. Went back into Toma. Toma was wrapped up by Stag. Now the Dragons will soccer it forward off centre half. Max there with a clean pickup. Handball went straight to Trollful though. Found a way through. Gave it off to Brody James. James then emerges on the left. He'll send it straight down the middle of the QEO, but he finds an intercept player there in Caleb Connick of the Dragons. He'll waste no time. Comes back into the middle. He's got Tarju in space. Tarju takes the mark. Classy player, Lockie Tarju. Quick handball off to the runner. Inside forward 50 they oh, go. Beautiful. It is a beautiful kick inside forward 50 from Jake McLean. And he has landed it absolutely centimetre perfect well, onto the chest there, of Jack Keating. Cameron, for a long, long time. In fact, and, it's Matthew uh, Wilkinson. No one picked him up. And uh, the player on the mark for Golden Square at the moment looked around and thought, uh, who should have had him? He's there for a long time. And it was just a good, good delivery to him. Didn't have to move. So Matty Wilkinson will yeah. kick from just inside 50. Not too much of an angle to deal with. He starts it left. It just doesn't come back enough because it clatters into the goal post. Poster. Into the minor. I haven't seen too many posters this, this year. Yes, it all started before that where Lockie Tardrew uh, was left on his own. You can't leave okay. a player like to Lockie Tardrew on his own. Lovely handball out to uh, Jake McLean and uh, he spotted up Around perfectly. the grounds, Mount Pleasant, 11 8 74, three quarter time. Elmore, 6 1 37. 36 plays 52 as Trollful brings the ball in, but his kick will be turned over. It's gone straight to Wharton. So Wharton's got it 55 out from home. He managed to get himself in front of Tomo, who was the intended target, and took a nice intercept grab. He then sends a bullet of a pass in the max dead direction. It carries over the top of the pack into the lap of John Coe. Quickly handballed to Trollful. Then Trollful handballs off to Humphrey. Humphrey to Eaton. Eaton tried to take on the tackle of Coglin. He did. Just got the handball out to Strosh. Strosh works it into the middle. It's taken by Daniels. Daniels then fires the handball wide. And they're away down the far wing through Brody James. 
And his kick's gone straight to Bryce Kerno. So all that build-up will be a turnover for Bryce Kerno, who's now looking... He just watches the play so well and drift across to make sure he's in the right spot, uh, spot Kerno. He's one step ahead of the game. Kerno goes short. They emerge with the ball, the Dragons, up towards an half forward, but it's in a set mark to Macy Eaton. It's a good mark by Eaton. He fell over and he actually took the ball in his hands while he's on his hands and knees. Sends it out in the direction of Humphrey, who's tackled straight away by Pinniger. Doing battle on that broadcast side wing, which is the grandstand side wing. He's had a, uh, a good first game, young Pinninger, to this stage. Uh, hasn't had a lot of touches, but uh, done a lot of num uh, nice number one percents. Hasn't? Has used the football well when he's had it. Monty emerged with it, got it out to Humphrey. Humphrey bangs it up to centre half forward. Stewart picked it up, but the handball was not quite to its intended target. Turnover. Picked off by Mills. Mills then chips down the line to McLean. McLean works it back in board. He's done a lot, a lot of one, but nice one percents. No, one, yeah, one percenters. That's it. Tarju got it, then he gave it off to Free. Free into the middle of the ground. Now the Dragons can emerge. They'll send it inside oh, forward that. 50. That's a Ooh. kick that just floating him back in play was Young Shelton. And he takes the mark, as we heard him described as earlier. He'll chip it across <laughs> to Young Freckleton. Looking dangerous, though, Sanders, in this second half. They put the pressure on early. Yes. Goes across the ground, oh. and Dylan Hurd dropped it, but he was able to recover. That's good. Very lucky for Dylan Hurd. Clears the kick out. Humphrey used his body nicely. Took the mark in front of Pinniger. And on the left, sends a nice kick down the line. Well, he almost spent it yes. before he had it for a second there, Sampson. But he's quick to get it. Wheels it forward. Mark taken. Handball is pummeled forward by Rayner. Off to Stewart. Stewart into the pocket for a hard leading Rosengreen who dives out and takes the mark hard up against the boundary line. It should be 50 metres. And it is. 50 metres against Liam Island. He oh, just right. came in late. Norm well, Jenkins will tell you why. The, mar the mark had been taken and uh, he didn't let him get up. Island just pushed him into the ground over the boundary line mm, now. The mark had been taken. Just stand on the mark. Especially you from where it was, Norm. Yeah, it was that's right. kick because it was right on the boundary line. So Rosengreen sends the ball out onto the highways. He puts it through <laughs> for a goal. He's got Barnard three. Barnard Street. Out onto Barnard Street. He's got three. And, well... If you're a car driving along, you'll be lucky not to cop that one into your windscreen. 8 4 6 6 A big goal, that one, for Golden Square. And probably a bit of a coach killer, that one, against Liam Island. Score sponsor, Benigo City Framers. Yes, the uh, Sandhurst player probably didn't have uh, an eye. He didn't have a good view of the way the mark was taken. We could see here that it was a clearly taken mark. He must have thought it bounced. So he was going to put pressure on so that the Golden Square player couldn't play on. Unfortunately, the mark had been completed uh, on the chest before he hit the ground, and uh, it was 50 metres. Cameron's right. The, the footy's gone. They're yeah, looking it has, for a replacement yeah. footy at the moment. Maybe the Dragon's taken the footy. He could have. The Dragon? Yes. You reckon the Dragon's got it, Cameron? No, wrong uh, end of the ground. Uh, uh, Dragon's over the other end. Dragon's right. up the other end, Dragon's yes. Very He's going way it under the poppet head. Full, full forward in this uh, second half, but... The, Dragons making its way home, Cameron, behind the goals. Now the ball's come the back, end. which is good to see. It's costly for the club, you know, Norm. If you have it to is if you keep uh, yes. footy, new footies during the game. 150 bucks a ball. Mm. Knocked down in the middle. Toma. Well, it was Reeves that threw it out of there. No free kick. He's then able to then get a second crack at it. Barrels one on the left inside, 450. It spills to the back. Rosengreen gets it. Yeah. Rosengreen on the left will shark it. Two in a minute to Jordan Rosengreen, and the Bulldogs are back within four points. Got a perfect bounce at the back of the pack, Norm. Did, excellent bounce. In the right position at the right time. Uh, he's, uh, two of his teammates went up against one Sandhurst player. The ball uh, cleared the pack uh, with a good bounce, and Rosengreen in the right position. Four goals now to Rosengreen, and it's 7 6 48. Sandhurst 8 4 52. Six and a half gone. Third quarter. Local footy lives at Fresh Benigo. Score sponsor is Don. Just is good. when I thought that uh, Sandhurst was taking top. control, yeah. yeah, they looked really sharp, but uh, those two goals now. It's, it started, the, this quarter started the opposite difference. of the first two. It's yep. been Sandhurst that were in charge, and then. Golden Square got uh, have got the go ball, uh, got the goals. Just looking at the ruck work here, um, mm. Daniels is just a bit. He's getting a lot more run and jump at the ball as opposed to Sexton, who's a little bit more stagnant when he hits the ball. And that's a real advantage, I think, because they're able to work it backwards to go forward. Kelly, who's it an advantage to? Luke Holt. Well, Daniels has just seemed to be getting to get the ball forward a little bit more with momentum. Okay. The way he gets up. 
It's bounced around. It's got towards centre half forward. High for tackle. Sanders. Free kick's going to go to Dylan Hurd. So Hurd has it. Sanders have gone, done a good job to close Golden Square down here. Tell you what, that bloke destroying that sandwich. That's a fairly big sandwich, and he took one mouthful, and there's not much <laughs> left, nor. <laughs> no, there's not. You're right there. I'll give him an award. Sexton good sends grab. it inside forward 50, and Tom Strosh comes flying over the top and takes a strong mark for Golden Square. He'll chip the pass to Monty. Oh. Monty's kick goes a little bit off the side yeah, of the boot. Yeah, it was off the side, but uh, they had a lot of space out there, Square. And it finds Jack Stewart. Hasn't kicked a goal yet today, Jack Stewart. He's got 35 of the season. Chips it to the number 35, which is Tom Toma. A couple yep. of 35s linking up. Golden Square have uh, got to work hard here because Sandhurst have put the press on and they've got to try and find a free man. So Toma on the right, spins it out. Hard out on the lead That's is good. Burke. Needs to really get into the game in this second half, Jaden Burke. If Golden Square are to come back and win this game, they send it down towards centre half forward. No mark taken off hands. Over the boundary line for a boundary throw in right in front of the interchange race there of the South Benigo poolside change rooms. We've, now, we've no longer got the South Benigo social rooms as we worked out a couple of weeks ago with They're Johnny. <laughs> We've been gone for six months before he realised they were gone. Inside forward 50 we go. You know, Johnny, he's our regular host. Uh, can't be with you this afternoon. He's our stalwart host here at Benigo's Fresh FM. He's by a poolside somewhere overseas. Living his best life. He is. Off hands. It's going to be banged forward for Golden Square. Right to the line. No mark taken. Off hands minus score. I'm going out to Eagle Hawk tonight to get some fish and chips, Norm. So life's not that bad. No, it's not that bad. You're right there, Wallace. Yes. Well, we all can't be swanning around pools. No. Oh, yes. We're seeing a good game of football here today, oh, which are. makes it well worthwhile. Shout out to Johnny. who will no doubt be listening poolside. Kerno plays <laughs> on out of defence and clears the kick out of bounds on the full. So just cupping a few mistakes into this game. And yeah, not often Bryce Kuno makes a mistake like that. No. So Trelfel brings the ball into play, sends it inside forward 50, big fly. No one able to take it. It spills out of there. It's fly goalwards by Lockie Hood. I think it might be Hood. In uh, fact, Jack, no, it was Golden Square's yeah. Jack Stewart that got the yeah. kick, sorry. Was it Stewart? No, Sampson, wasn't it? 27. Sampson got the goal. I didn't quite see who kicked it. It was in amongst all that congestion. We'll go with Jack Sampson. He puts through the goal, and remarkably, Golden Square are back in front. Well, we've only got another 16 to go through. 8 7 55, 8 4 52, Sanders, 10.5 minutes gone, oh, third quarter. Goal. It was very important. Uh, he missed two important goals in the second quarter, but made up for it there. An excellent goal, and uh, Golden Square have they taken want, control. Hit back. They have oh. hit back. They've kicked the first, five, uh, first three goals of the second half and uh, got control again. Oh, they're in front by three points. I would have thought that ten and a half yes. minutes ago. Free kick out of the middle. Especially the way this uh, term started when Sanders looked like they were just That's right. uh, really going to take the game by the, uh, by the throat. But uh, gee, Daniels is fast becoming best on he's ground. He's doing all right in the middle. So Daniels plays on from the free kick. He sends it towards centre half forward. Didn't quite get into the hands of Burke. It spills out of there for the Dragons. Reeves tried to find a way through, just got through the Coglin tackle, and then Coglin picked it up, and he was taken down by Reeves. And we'll have a ball up. I think it was Stag at the bottom of that pack, the two number eights. I guess the difference is at the moment, it's where they're taking uh, every opportunity presented. That We mentioned the first half, they let a few go, but not this turn. Coglin emerges with the handball, sends it in the Keating direction. He couldn't quite grab it cleanly, and he's... Bounced upon by a pack of dogs. Norm, every time they've had an opportunity at goal, they've had a shot, and more than likely they've got those goals as well. They have, that's this right. Time. And their pressure their pressure and attack on the football has been excellent to start yeah. this second half. Bouncing around off hands. Monty, it's a free kick against Macy Eaton, who emerged with the ball. He thought he might have been collected high, but it's a free kick to James Coglin for holding the ball. Wasn't that good of a tackle, but the crowd seemed to like it. Jake McLean gets it, chips the ball across to Kerno. Kerno's with a short pass to Alex Wharton. Haven't seen too much of Alex Wharton this afternoon. Of course, received our Benigo City Frame as Sponsors Award earlier this year for a great game against South Benigo, I think it was off the top of my head. Like Sanders did early in this quarter, Square are doing a very good job of holding Sanders up. 
So Keating emerges with it. It's a nice kick out wide, trying to trap it and run onto it for the Dragons. There was Robinson, but it spilt out to Ruff. Ruff's kick got towards centre half forward. Off hand, Strosh at ground level. Handballs to Kelly. Kelly handballs to Monty. They're out. Monty clears the kick out. As you heard, they are away through Reeves. Mm. Reeves, he slows things up. Then he chips the short pass into the middle of the ground. Finds a teammate who handballs off. They'll send it inside 450 by Kelly. But his kick is Excellent found pass. its way into yep. the hands of Jack Stewart. Lowered his eyes. Yeah. Around the ground, Fleetsville Gunbell, 8 13 to Huntley, 2 4. We know Don is good. I tell you what, Strosh is good too. He's playing a nice game. He's very, very impressive, Tom Strosh. Yes. That's why the ball is where it is now. His control across half back and his calmness. So Jack Stewart, 40 metres out, directly in front. Goes Goldwoods and the goal umpire doesn't move. He oh. puts it through. He's got the goal and the Bulldogs have now got themselves out to an no. eight-point lead here at the QEO. And, well, who, not sure what Sanders would be thinking at the moment. They thought they were in control 10 minutes ago. It's a nine-point margin, 8-4-52, Golden Square, 9-7-61. 30 minutes gone, third quarter. Score sponsor is Don. Is Where they're going, Don? They should have let the Dragon play at full forward this time. Well, that's true. He might have done a little bit better job than the uh, forward line's done. And it's been an excellent job by Golden Square defence today to keep Fergus Green goalless. Back in the middle we go. Lockie Hood emerges with it, and then he just sends a spiralling ball towards centre half forward, but it took a bad bounce. Strosh went through, brushed off Pinninger, but it bounced backwards to Pinninger, who gave it to Coglin. Coglin then sends it back up towards centre half forward. Eaton read the drop of the ball nicely and took an intercept mark. He'll then wheel the kick into the middle of the ground and find Reeves. So Reeves has got it. Terry Reeves, far side of the ground he goes in the direction of James. But flying in, taking the mark will be Stewart. Yes. He's getting involved at the moment. Short pass is good to Westcott. Westcott will send it right to the top of the goal square for the fly. Burke couldn't quite take it. It spills to Toma, and Toma puts the goal through. Three in a row, Bulldogs. Yes, excellent work by Golden Square there. They, uh, they worked the ball out of their back line. Uh, they found uh, loose men. Either side of the ground, and uh, it was an excellent mark on the other side uh, by young Westcott. Uh, he stood uh, in front of Bryce Kerno, took a mark, got a handball off, and uh, excellent work in the, in the goal square for Toma to be at the drop of the ball and kick an easy goal. 10 7 67 plays, 8 4 52. Score sponsor, Jason Westcott Builder. Just precise uh, ball movement, just. Uh picture book stuff that by Golden Square. It's five goals to nothing this quarter mm. so far and we're only 15 minutes in. Three quick ones five in a row Golden Square they're going to win the ball out of the middle again through Monty. Monty's kick up towards the man of the moment Stewart. He couldn't quite take it this time. It comes off hands and he's taken by a mob of dragons and we'll have a ball up. They also uh, Golden Square just dominating the ball from the centre in they this are, yes. uh, second half they've just controlled that uh, part of the game Knocked forward. And we'll have another ball and up. By doing that, you're, just, you're actually giving your forward line uh, opportunities uh, to kick scores and their forwards are not letting them down. No, well, with the 6-6 six, six rule, of course, you can't have a uh, loose man in the back line, so Sanders have got to find another way of stemming this. Reeves found the kick out of the middle and he sent it inside forward 50 to Kerno. It's urging his team just to slow things down. He then sends it out wide in the direction of McLean, but floating in, taking a nice mark, was Heard. Heard to Toma. Toma sends it right to the top of the square, and it's Burke going back. Free kick's uh, free been kick, pulled. Yep. Is it a going to Burke? Is it yes. against Burke? No, to no. Burke. Golden it's going square. to Burke against... Well, it's against Bryce Kerno, and Jaden Burke can make it six in a row for the Wade Street Bulldogs, as you described them as earlier. And then wouldn't this be a huge, huge goal? It'll put them 21 points up. Yeah, I can't do uh, too much wrong at the moment, a golden square. And the ball's rolling for them. Uh, it's because of uh, their efforts in this uh, third term. So Jaden Burke puts it through. He's got 28 goals on the season now. Having a terrific year is one of the captains of Golden Square. Number of co-captains they've got. And they're out by 21 points. 11-7-73. Sanders, 8-4-52. 
The Premiership quarter is being won by the reigning Premiers at the moment. Score sponsor, of, Bendigo City Framers. A lot of it non coming from centre bounces and clearances. It is. Look, they're, they're lucky that uh, they've got Daniels in there for starters. Now they've got Rayner in there, and uh, whereas for Sandhurst, they've got to uh, find a uh, fill-in Ruckman when Sexton's off the ground as he is now. So Connick's that man that's gone up against Rayner. I always find it amusing when the two Ruckman have the same number. I find that happens more often than not, believe oh, it or not. I like looking at that when you're watching football too, Cam. It's, uh, it's interesting to see player on player, number on number. You're both weird. You'd like <laughs> to think that you'd beat your opposite number as it works forward. Tarju went through, was taken in the tackle. He's drifted out of the game in this quarter for Sanders, and they've lost a little bit of drive through it. Around the grounds, been... Gisborne 13987, uh, Lead Eagle Hawk 5535. Probably spent a little bit more time forward this quarter as they try and emerge through the middle through Robinson. Lost it. Heard got it out in the direction of James. Reeves is in there. He able to sell some candy with a handball. Shark the kick. Inside forward 50. Intercept mark taken for the Dragons. Maxted's gone back. He takes that one. We'll then clear the kick across the ground. In fact, it was actually Lockie Wright, sorry. So Lockie Wright will then clear it wide. Down the line from Keating. Not taken on the far wing, and it's a two-on-one situation. It seems to be a lot of two-on-ones at the moment. Yeah, Golden Square are the working twos are harder. always the way of the, dra of yep. the dogs. They're working harder than what uh, Sandhurst are at present. They're getting numbers to the football, and that's why they've been able to uh, control the quarter. Ball up. Taju's gone in there now, handballed it, but it will come forward by Golden Square. Harrison Free was able to find some space before sending a high ball down the line. Alex Wharton parked himself under it, couldn't quite take the mark, spills off hands. Mon well, it was actually, um, got it to Monty. It came from Eaton, who almost fended off his own teammate. It's up towards centre-half forward. No one taken. Might have been some calls to the possible taking in the legs rule going on there, but nothing well, it, doing. I thought it should have been. I was waiting for the umpire to blow his whistle. Storm uh, easily beating uh, Kangaroo Flat 16-13-109 to 14-34, the ruse. Bad kicking's bad football there as Rosengreen emerges with it. He'll send it inside forward 50. Island's back there for the Dragons. Knocked away there by Pinniger, who I think was more than happy to see that one across the boundary, the first gamer. And we'll South, get a throw in. South Benigo, 21-9. Uh, excellent kicking. 1-3-5. Leeds, Ameriba, 3-7-25. Almost Ameriba, a South Benigo team. With South Benigo from the lending them a good six or seven players. Hood emerges with it. Fires out the kick from Ireland, which will go straight into the hands of Dylan Hurd. Hurd emerges with it quickly. Then just blazes away inside forward 50 and puts it out of bounds on the full. Probably could have lowered the eyes a bit there, Norm. Either lowered the eyes or he could have taken another step and steadied a bit more and kicked straight instead of trying to kick around the body. So it'll be Darcy Mills to bring the ball back into play for the Dragons. But that Golden Square have been able to uh, congest the game and, and get, get the game on their own terms this quarter and uh, Sanders are finding it hard to get through it. Waits for the little kid to go and grab the ball so he doesn't have to jump the fence yeah. and get it himself. He then chips it across the ground. Little kid had to come about uh, 10 or 15 minutes to do that. Lockie Wright works it out to Ireland. He's going to come back to Lockie Wright because there's just nothing doing forward of the ball. There will be now Stags just come on from the interchange. That's the direction he goes. Uh, it's the kick probably was intended for him, but it just missed. Didn't quite have the distance on it. It gets forward. Sexton's taken over the boundary line. They keep it in play. Now the dogs have worked it forward. Rayner gave it off. It come there from her to Toma. Toma inside forward 50 and good defensive mark. Not paid. I thought he might have had hands on it. Kerno's able to there just hack the ball out of defence there. It goes right towards the boundary line. Coglin keeps it alive. He soccers it forward about 20 metres. Goes down in the direction of Nelly. Nelly kept his feet. He yes. kept the ball in play. Emerges with it. Max Deb wanted it to lead on to. The kick went straight to him though. And Zach Shelton was able to float back into the hole. He won the contest. Gave it to Strosh. Strosh to Coe and the dogs are out of trouble again. Down the line for Daniels and Bryce Kerno comes flying through to knock that one over the boundary line. True centre wing, pull side. Well, well, their key forward centres uh, haven't had much uh, impact, but the ball doesn't come down there much. It's hardly traversed the uh, attacking 50. Uh, for well, I mentioned Harry Burke had a great job on Pat McKenna last week. 
Fergus Green, I can't think I've actually called him today. No, but he hasn't had much opportunity re uh, ball coming in this turn. Maybe now. This might be the chance as they go inside forward. 50, Burke got to the front, but it didn't matter because Green come from behind and he almost took the mark. He didn't quite claim it down. It's cleared out of there for the Dogs. Humphrey goes upwards. The crowd's going bonkers here at the QEO. Pinnage has got it. He's taken hard up, kept it in play, worked it to McLean. McLean's pounced upon by Westcott. Boundary throw in right in front of our broadcast position. <laughs> yeah, good work there by young Lockie Humphreys. He, uh, he had three efforts at that football, and they've Very been able to get the ball out of bounds. Oh, they're being treated to a great game of footy. 21 <laughs> points to the margin. But you know Sanders are going to come back at them at some stage. It's one forward. Westcott to Rosengreen. Rosengreen to Humphrey. Humphrey on the left. It's a barreling, spiralling, ugly-looking ball towards centre half forward. It's picked off and able to work his way through for the Dragons. They'll clear it down the wing. Wharton in a one-on-one -on -one there with Holt. Was able to knock it down. Then Holt was able to get it at ground level. He just banged it forward. Turnover. It's going to come back the go. other way. Straight go. down the middle they go, Sanders. They find the mark. They'll come out wide. Going to be a chance for Max there who flies. Takes the mark. 70 out from goal, Kobe Max said. Can go short to McLean. He decides to go into the leading green. It didn't quite get there as Toma floated back in the way. Green still battling away. Toma got it. Oh, might have been a throw. And, well, I think the umpire agreed. Toma's been pinned holding the ball. And it's going to be a free kick. It looks like Tananelli's going to claim it. Mm. No, Nick Ste Oh, no, N Nelly. Yep. So Nelly will claim it. And he will line them up 45 metres out. Probably about 10 metres in from the right-hand forward pocket. A distance won't be a problem. He's a beautiful kick, Nelly, and I think he'll kick this goal. Yep. Sanders really, really do need to put some pressure on. There goes that sign, uh, Cameron. Yeah. What's yeah. that one? It's green. green. One side green, the other side red. So go hard. Go hard. The Dragons feel they can get back into this contest at the moment. Nelly from the boundary. He goes with an absolute oh. shocker. Floater. That's a helicopter and a half, and it's gone <laughs> pop, 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 straight through for a minor score. That was a Rex. Only their second score for the quarter. Two behinds. The first one came a minute into the quarter. Yeah. Well, if it was Rex, it wouldn't have got off the ground. Uh, well, some of them are getting off the ground. Uh, a bit harsh, Cameron. 20-point lead to Golden Square. 24 gone third quarter. Trophel brings it in, sends it down. Connick will fly. Couldn't take the mark. Spills off hands. Handball forward there from Holt. It comes off to Rosengreen. He's forced to go backwards to Holt. Holt can give it to Toma, but he's about to be hit hard by McLean. He got him. Toma found a way through. Gave it off to Holt. Holt sends it towards centre half forward. Intercept mark is by Sexton. Sexton can then go. He decides to switch across the ground. And he finds Alex Wharton. Alex Wharton's got the ball across half back. He'll chip the short pass to Keating. Keating got Lockie Wright, who's just come on the ground screaming for it. Sides to chip it short to rough to Ireland instead. I'm going to say that the group in front of us might have something to do with Liam Ireland because they're going yes. bonkers every time he gets the ball. His kick was okay. Lucky for you. Lucky for us, he's not getting it too much. Yeah, he yeah, made Darcy true. Mills work for it, but Darcy Mills was strong and able to take the mark. He'll then chip it down the middle of the QEO. Good-looking kick to Coglin. Trophel pushed him in the back. So free kick Coglin. That green sign still up in front of us, telling Sanders to go, go, go late in this third uh, quarter. Well. He'll bang it towards centre forward. Kerno's now gone forward. It comes off hands. It spills. Here's a chance for Alex Wharton. Alex Wharton will send it on the right in the green direction. Green strong in the goal square. Couldn't quite bring it down. Yeah, yes, he has. He had enough of it. I reckon that was a mark. And Fergus Green, Harry Burke, pleads his case to the umpire. But Green, who hasn't kicked a goal today, He's got 67 of them this year, and he leads the way for the Ron Best medal. Yeah, it was set up for him that time. It was a good kick, and he was standing in the goal square, even though he'll kick this from outside the goal square. He's going to go right and try and snap this one around the body on the left by the looks. Cheers, and already. that he does. He puts it through. <laughs> the crowd tells the story. Yes. And he gets goal number 68 in season 2024. And Sandhurst get a goal to bring it back to 14 points. 9-5-59, 11-7-73. Deep in the third quarter, score sponsor, JB, restumping. If yeah, Sandhurst City, I've got a Benny Go Council listing. Uh, there's a, a red uh, top bin down there. Might need some repair by <laughs> Monday. He's got a bit of a dip in a the pounding top. Yeah, after every goal's been kicked by the Dragons. Now, Sandhurst certainly needed that goal. Uh, Golden Square had kicked six for the quarter. That's Sandhurst first. Back in the middle, Reeves tried to come with it. Got it forward. 
Taken in the tackle there was Monty, who's been pretty impressive as well for Golden Square. Number of candidates staking their case for our sponsors' award, thanks yes. to Bendigo City Framers this afternoon. Taju got it out, sent it wide. No mark taken by Connick, but he was able to recover. He did well, gave the handball off. Keating emerges with some space. He'll send it inside, 450. It's Hood that got the fly, couldn't take it, spills the ground. Truffle went without it. Hood then dived on it. Green's in there making the tackle. Ball spills the ground. And we'll have a ball up. And Tanner Rayner in there. Every time number 16 from Golden Square goes there, and I go to call him Hamish Morecambe, but it's not Morecambe anymore. It's Tanner Rayner now. Morecambe doing wonders out there at the Huntley Hawks as the 2024 coach. Signed on for next year as well as the Dragons have worked it forward. Keating or Mills. Trying to find a way through. Wharton's got some space. Wharton finds some space to put a shot on goal. Joel Wharton misses. 13-point ball game, 60 playing 73, 28 gone, third quarter. It's been a magnificent uh, quarter for the Bulldogs. I know Sanders will come back and come back hard. I wonder if it's enough. Have they done enough to three-quarter time, Norm? At this the stage, Bulldogs. they would... Uh, the Bulldog, I think the Bulldogs, they're in a good position. Uh, they've just got to go on with it in the last quarter. Strosh got it, gave it to Humphrey. I get the feeling you wouldn't Sanders want to will come one late in this, this last quarter. You wouldn't want to concede one late in this third quarter if you're a Golden Square, I wouldn't no. think. They go out towards Shelton, who was strong, held the mark. Hard up against the boundary line. Zach Shelton underneath the scoreboard. He's just going to bomb it long down the poolside wing where 90% of the players are. Off hands, no one able to take clean possession, spills to ground. We'll have another bite. There's a Golden Square player yeah, down here. Yeah, they called for the trainer straight away. And he was in the marking contest. I think he cupped a knee. Yeah, Tom Strosh was signalling to get the trainer out there. It's eaten, but he's back up and moving. Not very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not moving around very good. Very freely. It's a bit proppy. A bit yeah. proppy. Yes. Not the word I was going for, but it that'll, disguised the situation work. perfectly. So it's a proper quarter from the Dragons. They trail by 13 points. It was a big quarter from Golden Square. They kicked six goals that quarter to Sandhurst one, and they have opened up a 13-point margin. 11-7-73, Sandhurst 9-6, 60 score sponsor. Bendigo City Dragons at halftime. Will they fight back in the third term? We're about to find out. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo, Cameron Power. Well, will the Dragons fire away in this final quarter? The Dogs by 13 points looking to cause an upset on the Dragons' home den. Tarju sends the first ball inside forward 50. Offhand Shelton. Burke got it across to Hurd. Hurd then just sends a spiralling ball out of there, but it will land in the chest of Bryce Kerno. So Kerno will wheel and go in the middle of the QEO. Sends it inside forward 50. Good mark taken by Freckleton, who's playing on Maxted. Mm. Freckleton was able to use the body nicely. Kicked down the line for Westcott. Didn't quite find him. The opposing 14 in Taju got it. Handball to Pinninger. Pinninger's handball went backwards to Keating. Then Keating was trying to go back to Pinninger, but he's taken in the tackle. Got it to Taju. Taju then handballed it towards the boundary line, but he did it discreetly enough that it stayed in play. And we'll have a boundary throw in right in front of the Golden Square coaches where Brad Eaton watches on. All the time we talk about first goal after the uh, break in the uh, last quarter. It is vital, though. Uh, Golden Square get it. Uh, they set up this term. Sanders get it. They're right back into it. Stag emerged with it, but it fell short. It's with Shelton, who chips to James, who was then called to play yes. on for not 15, and he's taken in the tackle. Thought the umpire was signalling a mark, and then it looked like as he was backing back, he then changed his mind to call not 15. Yes, interesting decision by the umpire there. But Sanders, very crucial last quarter, this one. Uh, top spots up for grabs today. That's it. They drop this one. Gisborne are going to win today, so they will go top. Taju handballs it out. Stag will then bang it around the body on the right. Burke was back there to smother it, but now he might be in a little bit of trouble here, Harry Burke. Umpire gives him the benefit of the doubt and says we'll ball it up. You're not thinking Eager Hawk are going to make a big comeback in the last term, Cam? Uh, no. Okay. So knock forward. It's sent forward by goal, and he's put it through. He sharked it off the clearance. Nick Stag. And it's Nick Stag. He got it off the pack, and he snapped it around the body, and somehow, even with players in the goals, where it still found a way through. 
And that big goal that we talked about to start First the final one. quarter goes the way of Sandhurst. 10 6 66. Golden Square are still 11 7 73. Score sponsor, JB Reese Stumping. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. That's vital, Norm, that first goal. That is very vital for Sandhurst. And yes. it'll be interesting to see who can get the centre break at this centre bounce. Sexton back in the, in the ruck. And it uh, looks as though uh, Strosh has gone in uh, to uh, help Daniels. Daniels will do the ruck work. The supporters down in front have formed a circle, Cameron. Might break out into Kumbaya very soon. Handball forward. It's with uh, the hands are free. Came wide from Connick, who's doing a lot of the ruck work at the moment. Mark taken by Coglin. Coglin handballs off to Wilkinson. Inside forward 50 they go. Just bouncing around at the top of the 50 before the ball's turned over. Trellful will go through for Golden Square. He went looking for Eaton. Finding a way through was Daniels. He was very strong and he managed to find Stewart. Mm. Stewart's handball backwards to Hurd. Hurd bangs it towards centre half forward. Fly by Rayner. Couldn't quite bring it down. It spills out to Westcott. He then handballs it even further forward for Golden good Square. But they're under all right. sorts of pressure by the Dragons. A good strong tackle was laid. A good second effort from Lockie Wright. He was up in the marking contest, brought it to ground, then able to make a good tackle. It was Lockie Wright doing the tackling. Daniels knocks it forward out of the ruck. Finds Eaton. He sharks it in the number 15 Guernsey after number 6 got ripped earlier. He banged it in. Rosengreen being held. Yes. Free kick, Rosengreen. Yes. He almost brought the mark down, but he was being held. And he'll go back to kick goal number 5. He's first to the Bendigo City end of the ground if he can put it through and put this margin straight back out to where it was no longer than a minute ago at 13 points. Umpire was all over it. He was in a good position to see what was going on. 15 metres out. About the same in from the boundary. Shouldn't Important have any kick. trouble from here. Rosengreen comes in on the right and puts it through for a minor score. That's a big let off. And if the Dragons win this game by less than a goal, that's going to be very pivotal. Yeah, big games like this, they could have responded and really got back that goal that Sanders kicked early. Well, that's right. We saw what happened in the second quarter when Sampson missed two, uh, should have got goals. That should have been a goal. Kurnow quickly plays on, goes straight down the middle. Stag was taken in the tackle off hands and he's pinned holding the ball. Incorrect disposal. And he's Free hurt. kick, Still down. Strosh, inside forward, 50, Stewart hard out on the lead, marks it on his chest, 40 metres out directly in front for goal. In a lot of traffic as well, Cameron. Had to weave his way through and see the ball come through uh, and took the mark. Not looking good for Nick Stagg, it looks as though it may be a knee problem. Mm. So Stewart, who was quiet in the first half, but he got on the scoreboard in that third quarter, can go back and kick for goal. 40 metres out, directly in front. He comes in, and I can tell by his celebration, he gives it a ride, but it's hit the post. Second poster for today. He got very close to the man on the mark. He was obviously a bit worried about the distance. One goal, two now for Jack Stewart, and Golden Square just not taking the chances. Oh. Kerno's chip short pass for free. Shocker. Stewart came and made the turnover. Stewart handballs off. Toma then snaps around the body on the left and puts through a big yep. goal for Golden Square. Tom Toma's got three, and Golden Square have got themselves a two-goal break. Yes, excellent work by Golden Square there. Uh, shocking kick in, though, uh, just to try and chip it to a person in space in your forward 50. In your, in your back 50 with uh, two Golden Square opponents right be, beside him. Made it very difficult and uh, Tommy Tomer made no mistake with a snap around the corner. Welcome back to Bendigo Football, Tommy. 12-9-81 playing 10-6-66. 14 points to margin. Six gone in the final quarter. Score sponsor, Jason Westcott Builder. Just one of those things. Didn't quite go to plan for the Dragons. and They paid the ultimate price of six points. Back in the middle we go. Stag will send it forward for the Dragons. Good mark. Good mark taken by McLean. Clever. It fell into his lap. He handballs to Free. Free chips into the lead for Max Ed. Max Ed comes out. Couldn't quite reach it. Comes off hands. Freckleton will then run it over the boundary line for a boundary throw in. That's been one of the differences in this second half. Max Ed hasn't been able to get, uh, get the football delivered to him on the chest like it was no, in the first look, half. look, he was dominant in the first turn. Yep. But Freckleton the ball, has done a good the job. The ball hasn't come in as much. And, gee, they're going wide. Uh, that time. Throw in right on 50. Daniels first hands on it. Spills to ground. 
Good luck calling who's got their hands on that because you can throw a blanket over them. We'll have another ball it's up. It's interesting. One Sanders player, four Golden Square players at the football. Ball up. Reeves was just fumbled at the last moment. It allowed Stag to come through and give it off to Free, who was taken in the tackle straight away. Umpire crossed his arms and will ball it up again. Yeah, Sanders don't need to go wide. They've got Fergus Green down there. And whilst he hasn't uh, been prominent in this game, I would go to him a lot in this last quarter. I'd kick it direct, kick it long and kick it strong. Well, he's a player that can win them the game if he's good enough. Taju was the, the other one. And he's taken in the tackle. We know they're good enough. I don't know what I'm saying there. They are absolute superstars of the competition, Fergus Green. Yes, you're right there, Taju's a little bit sore getting up here. Sorry, yes, they, Sandhurst haven't, uh, haven't used Green very well today at all. They haven't given him an opportunity. Daniels forward. Brody James gave it off to Humphrey. Humphrey down the line. Mark taken by Jaden Burke, the co-captain of this Golden Square lineup. He's quick to move it forward to Stewart. Stewart's got it. Had a very good game today, Stewart. They yes. lead by 14 points, especially in the second half. Short pass to Reeves. Reeves into the pocket for Rayner. Rayner's got Kerno chasing him down, and Rayner was happy to see it over the boundary line underneath the scoreboard, which reads Golden Square by 14 points. Mm. And uh, into attack as well again to the city end. Yeah, if this quarter goes as long as most of the others, there's still uh, 18 to 20 minutes to go. 66 plays, 81. Boundary umpire throws the ball into play. Connick was able to win it backwards. Found its way. To Darcy Mills, Mills to Taju. It looks like he's got more space than any other player when he receives the ball. Wilkinson gets it. They fire it wide to McLean. McLean then down the line, but it's turned over. John Coe, the ever-reliable John Coe. Some appeals from 50, not coming. Coe then quickly plays on. His pass, not that great. Intercepting was Keating, but he couldn't quite bring it down. He had the chance to clunk the mark and force them back, but he just couldn't quite hold on. Will result in a ball up. Reeves then fires the handball out of the pack after it comes out of the ruck. Boundary throw in. You wouldn't want to, uh, if you're in the Santos camp, you wouldn't want to come back from three and a bit goals down, though. It's manageable at the moment, but uh, if Golden Square get a goal now, it makes it very difficult. Well, Golden Square, many wrote them off at the start of the year, but they are showing that they are still a force to be reckoned with in 2025. Coglin's kicked forward. No, no, high tackle, Golden Square. So high tackle's going to go the way of Kelly. young Harrison Kelly. He is in his first year of senior football. Sends it down the right-hand side. Pull wing. Good mark. Mark taken in the Strong. front by Caleb Connick. Yes. 16 on 16. He handballs off to Kerno. Kerno was dealt with after he got rid of the ball, but it was all fair, off hands. It spills out Humphrey. He'll chip the short pass, and he finds Reeves, who quickly gets and goes. He works it to centre-half forward, but good mark intercepting is Darcy Mills, who's come into the game for Sanders. He wastes no time. Fires it across the ground to Wharton. Wharton dropped the mark. Now he's got two dogs on him. Has to go backwards, and he did okay to get it back to Ruff. Ruff found a way out of trouble and then got it to Wharton. Toma slipped over, which allowed Coglin to fly at the ball. Come to the front of the pack, and Toma rides into Lockie Wright. We'll have a ball up. True centre wing position. Broadcast side, which is the grandstand side here at the QEO. The sun has dropped, but the footy is still hot here at the QEO. Umpire wastes no time balling it up. Sexton won it down. Daniels emerged with it. Managed to somehow break the tackle before handballing towards Reeves. Picked off by Stag, but they just pound it forward. James got it off to Monty. Monty in towards Burke. Connick got in the way, but it spills down to Stewart, who's taken in a really what good tackle. tackle by Bryce Kernow on the last line. Stewart thought he was away to the races, and Bryce Kernow said no and ripped up his ticket. He didn't place. Kernow wins out, and he'll clear the kick out of defence. He's about to run into an open goal. Down the line he goes. Coglin got a fly, but what? Well, Coglin and Ireland both flew at that same yeah, ball. They spoiled each other. It's happened a few times today with Sanders. There hasn't been a lot of mar uh, talk in the marking contest. You just feel the longer this game goes, the more likely it is that Golden Square will hold on. Monty's just got it to go forward about 20 metres. 50 out from goal. They all dive on top of this one and we'll have a ball up. Stacks on the mill. How great was that tackle? By oh, Bryce yeah, that was excellent. I mean, it, that was a goal coming up. Long the arm, just wrapped him up with one arm and brought him to ground. And let him know. It was a good hit, I too. Think, yeah. 
Daniels knocked it down. Coglin handball to Daniels, who will be taken over the boundary line. We'll have a boundary. You know all in. these signs they put up, uh, Sandhurst, the red and the green, is it, uh, Cameron? Yeah, it's only the one sign they've got. They red, red one side, green the other. Do they have a let's go right now sign? Mm. If if they do, I'd be holding it, it up yes. right now. Oh, they've got to take it on now. Plenty of time left in this game, though. It's only 14 points, and we've still, only, we've still just played the 12 minutes. Monty emerges with it, sends it inside in the rose and green direction. At the last line was Isaac Ruff. Got a very important fist on it. It spills to ground. Well, Isaac Ruff didn't get that fist in there. It was going to result in a shot on goal for Golden Square. And you just feel like if they kick the next one, they do have it might a be a bridge too far. Time on their side, you're right, but a lot of footy is being spent mm. in the fourth fifty for the Bulldogs. That it is, Connick. He's gone up in the ruck, spills out of there. Coglin emerges with it, handballs out in front of Ireland. Ireland will be tackled by Eaton. Ireland didn't get rid of it, and he will be given a reprieve. I reckon if we were playing in the big leagues, that might have been called. I reckon Wallace. Well, it was a touch and go, yeah, but I mean, you're right. He, he didn't have any it pretty well. Didn't have any previous opportunity. Ball up. Coglin again merges with it. Quick handball out to Mills. Couldn't take it. But he then was able to pick it up. It's free that got the kick out of there. It's gone 15 metres up in the air, that is. Not anywhere near the 15 metres required for a mark to be played. Hood was taken. How did he get rid of it? Umpire says all fair and, and we'll have a ball up. By the way, this is the big league, uh, uh, Cameron. Not sure about that other league you're talking about. Worked out of there. No one able to take much clean possession. And Golden Square will be happy for this ball to yeah. be locked into contests and congestion. It'll just run time off the clock. It's a bit obvious. They can't break, can't get their game going, Sanders. They just can't get the ball movement that they like. One goal apiece in this final quarter between these two sides. But most of this quarter is being spent up Golden Square's end. 14 minutes and 14 seconds have just clicked over. Yes, their forwards are doing an excellent job here of uh, locking the ball inside this forward 50 and uh, the wall's got to break after a while and they'll get a goal. Something's got to break. Connick down. Reeves worked it backwards to James. James then kicks it high ball. Skewed off the side of the boot a little bit. No mark taken. Robinson was underneath it. It spills out. Westcott's in there for Golden Square and he'll be tackled. We'll have another ball up. Lots of stoppage at the moment. Interesting that Bryce Kernow is off the ground at the moment. Well, they do say you're going to have one last rest before your big players get on the ground in the last moments when they're desperately needed. Monty's kick inside forward 50. No mark taken by Mills. Spills off hands. Coglin then goes through. He's been good. Mills to Ruff. Ruff's kick out of there. Reeves will set himself and couldn't quite take the mark. Robinson knocked it to ground. Eaton threw the handball over his head. It just sat okay. Daniels couldn't quite take it. Robinson's able to recover. He'll then run it out wide and clear the kick, but it's an absolute kick to absolutely no one. Humphrey's back there for Golden Square. He's pounced upon in the tackle by Sandhurst, and we'll have another ball Just up. Just with Kerno, you've got to win it. No good saving it. Would you put him on and put, put him, him forward, well, centre-half yes, forward? I agree with you there, Wallace. Give oh, them something to kick to. Good work by young Pinninger there, first game up, and uh, kept the pressure on the opposition. Well, it's got to be Green or Kerno, you imagine, up forward to spark Sandhurst. Reeves emerges with it for Golden Square to Monty. Monty then sends it back inside, and it's a diving mark to Lockie Humphrey, who can go back for a big blow in this contest. He's 35 metres out, 20 in from the boundary, underneath the scoreboard, shooting towards the Bendigo City mm. end of the ground. Now, a rush kick that just uh, luckily found its way to a teammate. He was fairly uh, much by himself, though, no? He was he by was himself, but no the, the kick wasn't going to him. It was a kick forward and just thrown on the boot. But you've got to make the most of your opportunities. We can, we'll see what happens now with, uh, with young Humphrey. So Humphrey, they've missed a couple of very gettable set shots this game, Golden Square. This is a big moment. He comes in, and it's not even going to make the distance. It's an absolute shank off the boot. Rosengreen leads out. And it will be cleared out by Stag. Taken over the boundary line by Golden Square. And I think Shank's the only word to describe that one. Mm. Well, he would have uh, liked to have done a bit better. So maybe it was a Shank. And not a lamb Shank either. Is that what you're having for dinner tonight? No, I don't think so. I haven't uh, decided yet. I'll let you know. Throw in. 
Sexton wins it down. Reeves will clear the kick forward. But it's taken away by Wright. Wright handballs off to McLean. McLean clears the kick out of defence. And the mark's it's taken by Trelfall. All the time. How much time has been spent in the forward line for the Bulldogs? Trelfall inside. Burke comes out. Couldn't take it. It's just banged out of there by Mills for the Dragons. But it's all golden square. It's going to come right back. Yep. It's Shelton. Shelton's kick pass short. Nice finds Reeves. Reeves will then send it inside forward. 50. Burke's going to get a lead at it. And he'll mark it 50 metres out from goal. Pretty much directly in front. And he's a good shot chop for goal, usually Jaden yeah, Burke. Yeah, it was an error in kick out. He's lucky. It just uh, went off the side of the boot, but it favoured Burke, who was standing there, and he had the height. He knew it and ran underneath it. Well called. And uh, this could spell danger, certainly for the Dragons. He's already got one this afternoon. Mm. 28 for the season. He'll kick from right on the paint of 50. It's looking good off the boot. It's going to go right to the line, but it's through for another minor score. And they continually chip at this lead by adding minors to it. They're not able to put that big glass dagger away. With Kerno off the ground, it'll well, be... Well, he's been waiting to come back on for about four minutes. Can't get back on Because the, the ball, they can't get the ball out of their back line. It'll be brought back into play for the Dragons to Mills. Mills then sold a little bit of candy before he merged with it on the right-hand side. The green sign up in front of us means go, 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 we think, for Sandhurst. They'll work it up towards the middle of the ground. Picked off. Harrison Kelly's in there. Mass pack of players around this one. Been a little bit of a theme this afternoon. Just locking the ball up. And Golden Square have played this very well structurally. Yeah. To force this into Sandhurst, who aren't able to get the running and liking that they'd like on this big ground. It's banged forward. Stewart's going to emerge. Stewart. Thought about going, thought about handballing. Then he's going to wheel onto his left. He goes goalwards. No one's in the goal square, Stewart. But it bounces back and getting back on the last line of defence, Isaac Ruff. Kerno still score. waits patiently to come back on. He's been <laughs> off the ground for a long time. He's been standing there trying to get back on. He's talking to the crowd now. So Lockie Wright will bring the ball back into play. Big fly and a mark taken by Tom Strosh. One of the best contested yes. marks in the league. There is no doubt about the hands that Tom Strosh has. Sends it inside towards Toma. It carried over the back. Probably not the height you want to bang it in on top of his head. But he did well. And it forces a stoppage 25 metres out from goal. Kerno's finally going to come on. I believe there's a player coming off now. And Kerno's ready to go. And he runs uh, into the defence. So he's not going forward. Well, he might plug himself at centre-half forward, for, at centre-half back which will be for that clearing kick coming out because that's where they're having their issues. Once they get this kick out, it's just coming straight back. Can they emerge with it here? They'll fly the kick out of defence in the max dead direction, but it skew whiffs off the side of the boot. Shelton tracks after it. Boundary throw in on true centre wing position, and they'll be happy to get a stoppage on that far wing outside of forward 50. Their final score at uh, the Harcourt Recreation Reserve, the Dan Harcourt 16-16-112, defeated Trentham 9-5-59, thanks to Paul Wicks. Kerno's going forward. He's gone to centre-half forward. Throw in, centre wing. Sexton knocks it forward. Free was there. Lockie Hood emerges with it. In a battle with Hurd, Hurd did really well. But then he handballed it straight back into pressure, which is where Lockie Hood was. Hood got it back to free. They went looking for Kerno, but they're happy to see it over the boundary line, Golden Square. I should have been in coach, Cameron. You were a coach back in the day, weren't you? Back in the day, yeah. At the Bloods? When it was in black and white. At I the Bloods? Coaching, yes, that's right. Thought it would have been red and white at the Bloods. Shut up, Norm. <laughs> oh. The Bloods will be winning today. Oh, the, the red and white winning. beating the black and white of Maryborough today. Throw in at the top of the 50. No final score there, but they're a long way in no. front. Toma emerges with the ball. He'll work it down the wing. Wright couldn't take it. Spilled to the back. It's where Jaden Burke was. Burke bangs it into Rosengreen. Ruff's not sure where to go. Rosengreen, he able to keep the ball. Rosengreen will then snap it towards the top of the goal score. He had a lot more time to decide what he wanted to do with that one. And it's turned over, intercept mark taken by the Dragons. It's Wright who clears it straight out of defence, but he's kicked it straight to Holt. Holt on the right, goes in the Rosengreen direction, off hands. It might be a chance for Kelly if he can toe poke it forward. Dragons have got numbers. Wharton will emerge. Had a couple of short options, decides to go longer to Max Deb. Why wouldn't you when you've got Max Deb with hands like that? Didn't quite get there because Strosh got an important touch on it at the last minute. It spills out. Golden Square player was taken high. That player there is Trollful. And it was being offended by Jake McLean. 
Around the ground, South Benigo 25 159, uh, Tamara Bar 3826. Truffle on the right, sends a high ball inside forward 50. Burke wants to get a fly, he couldn't get one. He thought he was being held out of it. Tarju takes it, he quickly plays on. Handball's off to Keating. Keating can have a bounce, then he'll have a second bounce before chipping the kick down the line. It's probably a little bit longer than a mm. chip kick, but it's gone to absolutely nobody. Turnover. Golden Square have got numbers everywhere. Brody James. Handball's off. They'll send it forward, but it's going to be turned over. Dragons have it through Mills. Mills handballs to Hood. Hood to Kerno. Want to go back to Hood. Not sure they're on the same wavelength there, but Hood was able to make it work before he kicked the ball out of bounds on the full. Coming back the other way, and I reckon... I'm going to say it. I reckon Golden Square have done enough. Around the grounds, a 17-14, 1-1-6 storm to Kangaroo Flat to 14-34. Yes, nothing going Sanders' way in this last quarter. The ball's bouncing away from them or going off the side of the boot. So down the line they go. Turned over, though. Dragons will send it inside forward 50s. Coughlin, big punch at the last second there to get in the way. It was spills out. Connick fires the handball wide. Thomas then taken by Taju. Umpire across his hands. Didn't quite see who that player was that got the all-important. Coughlin thought it was going to hit him on the chest. Yeah, Coughlin stopped and waited for it. He should have taken a step forward and it, he would have taken a mark. Knocked down. Time ticks away if you're a Sanders supporter, and there's plenty of them here this afternoon. Trying to find a way through Keating. His kick was smothered. That allows Golden Square to work through the middle. They'll fire the handball forward. Now they just kick, but there's one player back on the last line of defence, which is Ruff, <laughs> who waited for it to bounce, and it's a traditional footy. It has its own mind when, it want, when it's let to bounce. Island back to Ruff. Ruff to Connick. Connick to Free. Free in the centre. Just heaves it inside forward 50, looking in the direction of Nally. Couldn't quite find him. He's gone forward, Tanner Nally, as he did against the Storm earlier in the year, Norm, when he kicked a couple of big goals. Can he do it again today? Uh, he'll have to be quick. But uh, I think you're right. Golden Square have done enough to win this game today. Uh, Sandhurst have got to get uh, three goals without Square getting anything. Handballed out of there by Rosengreen, but it's going to come back from Connick. Connick's kick inside forward 50. And a good defensive mark is taken by Golden Square, Johnny Coe. The ever-reliable Johnny Coe. Who, when he broke his toe, he was named John Toe. And the nickname stuck for years to come. Around the crowd. <laughs> Some magnificent work by Cameron. 15 11 True story. One to Gisborne. To Eagle Hawk, uh, 6 8 42. Off hands it goes. Centre wing. Well, there's one thing. Uh, this win by Golden Square today, I think, has uh, shut the door on uh, Castlemaine's outside chance of uh, playing finals this year. Sirens haven't gone, but winners in the BFL today will be South Benigo, along with Storm and Gisborne. Can they still possibly pinch Eagle Hawk's spot with Eagle Hawk going down again today, Norm? They're, still, they're two games behind Eagle Hawk. Makes it hard. As the Dragons will work it forward, they're not going to say die just yet in this one. They'll send it inside forward. 50 Wharton. Nally, who was then disposed of the footy. How did he get rid of it? It spills out. Kerno makes the tackle. Umpire crosses his arms and we'll have another ball up inside forward. 50. Yes, uh, Golden Square are doing enough. They're keeping pressure on Sanders when they go into their forward line, not giving them a, uh, a free shot at goal. Daniels has been good. He's right in contention for our Bendigo City Framers Best on Ground Award, thanks to our sponsors. Off hands, Hurd. Hurd handballs to James. James just barrels one forward. Ireland's back there. Burke pursues him. Ireland lets it bounce. It's sat up nicely for him this time. He'll chip it to Ruff. Ruff then plays on. Quick ball, they've got to move it extremely quick. Finds Tarju. Tarju steps around Troffle. Now he finds some space. Has a bounce on the right. Better looking kick inside forward 50. Nally couldn't quite take the mark. Coglin picked it up. Handball back to Stag. Stag's just going to go with a barrel inside forward 50. It's going to spill. Kerno's there. Kerno snaps over his body. It has to go through if Sanders are any chance. It goes right to the line. Touch through for a minor score. 67 playing 83, 27 minutes gone in the final quarter. And Golden Square bring the ball back in. They've got loose players at the minute. Finds its way to Ricky Monty. Yes, it's been a good display by Golden Square today, especially after half time. Uh, they had a, uh, a bad second quarter, which uh, 
let Sandhurst back into the game, but uh, since half time they've been unbeatable. Monty to Toma. Couple of Essendon VFL listed players linking up there. What a season they've had. Hilton's girl will be hoping to have Tom Toma for the rest of the season, which would be massive for him to be able to be playing finals football for the Dogs in season 2024. They've worked it forward, but it's turned over. Now they can try and get some space, but the kick didn't do any favours at all for Wilkinson. And John Coe, the opposite 18, he fended him off. He sent it inside forward 50 to Rosengreen. Rosengreen over the top, and Westcott will run into an open goal, put it through. Good night, Dragons, and Golden Square are going to win this one. Yes, interesting. Two, two years in a row, two games in a row on the QEO, and Golden Square have handled the QEO better than... Uh, than what Sandhurst have, and a lot of Sandhurst players now standing with hands on knees. They've uh, they've worked hard all day, but it's been Golden Square that's been just that little bit too good. Two to Westcott, 13-11-89, 10-7-67. Yes. Score sponsor, Bendigo City Framers. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. Getting dark as well, like a full body rush. Uh, Cameron, this one's all over. That's all I've got, Cameron. It's up to you. To Back continue. in the middle. Dragons, they won't say die, but it's just about over here. Too late. Heard dropped the ball. Coglin. Tarju emerges with it. He'll run inside oh. forward 50. Sells some candy. Lockie yeah. Tarju for the late highlight. Misses to the left hand side. Would have been some goal that one. 10 yeah, 8. Skillful. 13 11. Yes. Margin is 21. It's a big win for the Bulldogs. Going into uh, finals just around the corner. That'll give them with plenty of confidence. Yes. They beat Sanders on the last day yes. in September here last year. Mm. And they have come to the QEO and they have beaten the Dragons again. Full time. And well, would you call it a boil over? An upset. 13 11 89. Sandhurst 10 8 68. It's a grand old flag this afternoon. 